everyone. And turn the music down a touch. Hi. Happy Saturday. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot. I forgot the day of the week. <laughs> I stream one day a week and I forgot the day of the week. I have a bow on today, but y'all can't see it. You guys can't see it. Look, my hair looks crazy. Like, it looks super messy. Am I out of line for thinking that? I don't know. I feel like it needs a, it needs a brush. It needs a brush through. Hi, guys. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. I wish the bow was, like, bigger so you guys could see it. Should I show you guys the back of my head? Did you see it? Did you see the back of my head? How did it look? <laughs> um, how was everyone's week? How was everyone's week? Last stream, I had a headache by the end of stream because my lights, I think it's my lights doing it to me. So I'm going to turn down my lights a little bit. I'm also going to make them more warm color. So I'm going to be like more orange toned but um i don't want to get another headache because that was terrible last stream i had a headache at the end of stream i'm also gonna check in the beginning of stream here let's see if my mic is staticky again i don't like wearing the headphones the headphones definitely looks weird with this hairstyle let's see do we have a staticky mic let's check let me turn on my volume mic check mic check mic check one two do i have static um, it's like very, let me kick this thing on my floor around and see if I can fix the problem. I feel like this is just customary at this point, me just doing a mic check every single time because, you know, static key mics and, and things like that. Okay, anyway, now that I have fixed that, um... How was everyone's week? Uh, let me tell you a little story just to kick off the stream. Let me tell you a little story, a little, little story time, a little Maddie story time in the beginning of stream here. Okay, listen to this, everyone. So this week I had my class, obviously I had a class. I had computer science class and I had my calculus class. So I have class twice a week and then three days I have off so i'm going to class like all day on the on the, on the two days that i have class <sighs> so i of course on the days that i had off i didn't get my period it had to come on the morning of me having class okay now you may think that this story is going in one direction but it's actually going going in another direction i when i woke up i was like oh no you know when you like if you know you know when you wake up you can feel your stomach just absolutely hurting like super uncomfortable so i was like oh let me go let me go sort this out so you know i sort it out take some medicine and i go on my way <laughs> to school all the while i'm driving to school my boyfriend bought me like this heating pad that you can just wrap it around your waist and it's like battery operated right so he bought me that so i was wearing that as i was driving to school and even with the heating pad on you know, my stomach was hurting so like the cramps the cramps this week were so 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 bad so I arrived to school and I'm sitting in calculus and I think at this point my ibuprofen kicked in and so I was feeling great like honestly I was focusing on my calculus learning the what is it called McLaren and Taylor law or some shit like that I don't know what it's called if you've ever taken calculus too you know it was calculus too it's calculus too anyway so I get to school sitting in calculus enjoying myself and then my class is an hour and a half long so at the end of class i'm like my stomach it's i think the ibuprofen like started wearing off i was like my stomach hurts so bad but it's okay because i'm gonna go sit in my car in between my classes with the heating pad on that's battery powered stupid me forgot to charge the uh 
heating pad, the, the mobile where you can like wrap it around your waist, I forgot to charge it. So I put it on my stomach and I'm like not feeling any warmth. And I'm like, what is going on? Why am I, why is it not working? I look at it and it's dead y'all. It's dead, my heating pad was dead. So <laughs> I get up and I'm like, like there's no way I'm gonna be able to sit through a computer science class. Like it, I'm just gonna be so uncomfortable and it was like day one of my period, it was terrible. And so this was so awkward. You know, computer science classes are very male dominated at least where I live. And anyway, so I had to go over to my professor who is a man and he's like very awkward to talk to. You know, the computer science professors, they're like really awkward sometimes. So I had to go over to him and I was like, hey, professor so-and-so, um, my is there a possibility I could take the quiz that we have next class? And he was just like staring at me, not saying anything. Cause like I said, computer science professors are sometimes really socially awkward. He didn't say anything when I said that. And then I continued, I was like, I'm having really, like I had to like reach out, like lean in. I was like, I have really bad cramps right now. And as soon as I said the word cramps, he's like, goodbye. <laughs> he said, goodbye. Like he didn't even hear me say anything else. He just heard me say that I have cramps and then he was like, goodbye, goodbye. So that was my experience this week. Super uncomfortable. As I was walking out the door, he stopped me. He was like, I know um, how uncomfortable it can be because he has like a wife somehow. Just kidding, I'm just kidding. Um, he has a wife and like a daughter, so. It was just so uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable having to tell like a male teacher, but it's even more uncomfortable when like they probably haven't had to experience that a lot because I am I am one of three women in my computer science class. So I can only imagine like, you know, in, in prior years, there probably wasn't many other women students that he had. Yeah, he was okay with me taking the quiz like next class. So on Tuesday, I'm gonna have to take that class on, um, I don't know what it's on. I think it's on Qs in Java. So if anyone knows anything about Qs in Java, let me know. Oh my MG, it's 1.30 AM in Poland. Your favorite way to assert dominance over male coworkers awkwardness is not hiding my fresh damn phones when walking to the bathroom to replace them quiver before me i was in computer science class last semester and i was reaching in my bag to go and get something and my pad fell out on the floor yay me it's 8 30 p.m in argentina oh argentina is an hour ahead of of me hi vanilli so that was um my awkward experience this week and I just I just I just wasn't yeah pad casualty yeah the pad just like fell on the floor I have pre-period cramps which sucks so bad I my I have not had cramps as but and like I said I have class two days a week three days off my period couldn't have came on a day I didn't have class there was a to win five, there was a, there was a two and seven chance <laughs> that it happened. What is that? What is that number? So just, let's two divided by seven. There was a 20, no shot. There was a 29% chance that it, that it fell on a day that I had class and it happened. That doesn't seem right. 29%, that seems too high. No, I guess that I guess that'd be right, right? Who knows? I don't know math. I don't know. I don't know math. We're not taking calculus. <laughs> Are the computer science dudes nice to you. Oh my god! I have to tell another story. Okay, here's story number two. It has nothing to do with with period cramps. I was in uh, the same the same class. I was with the professor that I had to tell that I 
had cramps and I like needed to take the quiz next class and I needed to miss out on class. The same class, not involving the professor, but another student. So I go to community college and with a community college, I actually really love going to community college because in the past I went to university and it was just really clicky and it was an art school. And anyway, I didn't like going to university, but I love going to community college surprisingly. A lot of people are like, I don't like community college, da 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 da. Uh, I love community college because I just go there, take my classes, and I get to go home. I just get to go home after that. Rat Pyre, thank you. Rat Pyre, Rat Pie? Rat Pyre just Rat subscribed. Pyre. Thank you, Rat Pyre. Yeah, story time stream. Anyway, so I go to this class and I'm sitting in class. This actually, this day, I had uh, I had my full beat on. Normally, I look homeless. Like I look just like I look like I just crawled out of bed. I my clothes are like yoga pants and a huge sweater. I just I just don't I just don't have it. I'm just not in the mood. Okay, I'm not in the mood to dress all nice and pretty and whatever. So anyway, I had no makeup on. I just I look terrible. And so I roll up into class, but but. This this particular class, I looked good. Like I looked good this class. I had my full beat on, and I had my hair curled. It was a good day, and I was I I, I put on my full beat because I had a field trip I was going on. That's just doesn't matter. Um, so I looked nice because I wanted to make a good impression on the field trip I was going on. But during the class, I got yelled at because my the girl who sits next to me, which is two out of three women in this class and we sit next to each other <laughs> so anyway she leaned over to me because she needed like help debugging her code in like java or whatever and so as she was asking me a question the professor yelled at us and he goes if you if you two girls want to talk then you can go somewhere else and like we never talk in class we never talk while the professor is lecturing like this was the first and only time this girl has leaned over to me as he was lecturing ever i don't talk in class like i'm an adult like i don't have a reason to like gossip and like giggle and chat with the person next to me i don't know the girl next to me i literally met her this semester like we're not we're not like tight like that you know what i mean it's not like we talk all the time i could understand if we talked all the time but we don't that grinded my gears anyway so he yelled at us in front of the whole class like 30 students whatever i'm i'm too old to like at this point I, i'm older i'm older than most of the kids most of the kids are like 18 19 years old um but since it's community college there are also like a mixed bag that's what's fun about community college is it's like a mixed bag like you get people who are in their 40s and their 50s and like people who have never gotten a degree before and you get like some really old people as well so community college is interesting like that but anyway there was this guy in the class who had to be pushing pushing 40 i would say and after the class i walked out and i like stormed out of the class after it was done because i was just irritated at that point but one of the students who's like pushing 40 in the class comes up to me and he's like he taps on my shoulder like super hard and i'm like my head like whipped around like who who, who is tapping me and i turn around and he goes i'm so sorry that he talked to you like that um i think he was just getting pissed off with um people talking during the lecture which is like i don't ever talk during the lecture but whatever and so i was like oh yeah haha -ha. And I was like trying to walk out to my car and he was, it was, I was like trying to get away from him because it was super weird. Like, I don't know. It was, it was just, it was just, it made me really uncomfortable. <laughs> and I sent a voice memo to my brother afterwards. And it's like, I feel like what I've come to the conclusion is a lot of these computer science kids don't have a lot of female interaction. <laughs> so anyway that was it was just super weird and then and then that guy like never talked to me ever again it was the one time that i had my full beat on and i don't know it was just yeah hi from brazil hi brazil anyway guys how are we doing hope you enjoyed my stories my my stories in computer science 
women in STEM. We love to see it. Malachi, you're not, you're not funny. Can we, can we, ooh! I just heard my own voice on my speakers. That was loud. Hi, King of Callisto. You could be quiet as a church mouse 24 seven, but the one time you even whisper, I swear to God, teachers slash professors jump at the chance to yell. I, I am like, I'm like 23 years old. I'm not, it's not like this is my first time around the block. Like first time me being a student. No, I, I'm old. I feel like I'm an old grandma when I go into some of these classes. Like most of the kids in calculus, I would say, are probably like fresh out of high school. Like they're probably 18 years old. And I feel like I'm just a grandma when I go into, even though obviously in the grand scheme of things, it's like all in my head. And if you looked at me when I was in my, when, when I'm in my just roll out of bed form, you'd probably not even be able to tell the difference. But it's the psychological, okay? It's the psychological. Women in STEM, thank you. I'm also trying to make, um, oh, Sims Bagel. You also subbed when I was going to the bathroom when I before stream, thank you. Sims Bagel, thank you for the sub. Rat Pyre, thank you also for the sub. Uh, Ebean asked, what is so bad about Barnacle Bay? How long do we have, Ebean? <laughs> How long do we, I'm like itching, I'm like itching my back for no reason. I, it just feels good to scratch your back sometimes. Well, this is so gross, but before I was on Accutane, I would itch my back and it would like scab super bad because if you have back knee, you know, you itch your back and it scabs when you itch it. Um, but since I went on Accutane, my back is like super clear. And whenever I scratch it, like I don't get scab, I don't pick off scabs, it's so gross. <laughs> but it feels so nice to scratch my back now. <gasps> you love my Amsterdam shirt? Okay, Cam Calisto, can you take me in your suitcase? Like, I need, I need to go. Oh, Ambergandy's here, purr. The one and only Ambergandy. Um, no, I need to go to Amsterdam. Th I'm like, when I wear, whenever I wear this shirt, I'm like manifesting my Amsterdam trip. Okay, if you're watching this VOD back, and your family owns an Airbnb or like you own an Airbnb even, please, please DM me because I'm trying to go to Amsterdam. I am. <laughs> Scab pickers rise up. <laughs> oh, the nails are going uh, this week because they're growing out and they, whenever I wash my hair, they keep getting stuck in my hair. So say goodbye to the nails pretty soon, guys. They were cute when they lasted, but they're really, they're really starting to grow out and they're really starting to bother me. So, say goodbye to them this week. They're gonna be gone. Um, have you seen Boring? I have not seen Boring Bones' new mod. I have not. Dude, I stayed in a hostel in New York City. I won't do it again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. Agnerus underscore Sims just subscribed. Hi, Maddie. Love to see you play. Thank You've you. You've reignited my love for The Sims 3. Ooh. Thank you heart what a compliment thank you heart thank you for the sub i appreciate it i appreciate it i appreciate it i got acrylics in february my natural nails are still healing from it application is everything when you get your nails done application is everything i do my own so i'm like really careful with them but um i've nicked my cuticle more times than i can count but i'm using my own tools that i bought oh my god i just my, my hair just got stuck in my nail if you saw that i cannot stand when i'm like running my fingers through my hair and my hair gets stuck in my cuticle like the gap that's in there the, the nails are cute don't get me wrong but they're just getting like crusty and dry and like grown eyes just, uh, just say goodbye to them guys <laughs> say goodbye to the nails they're cute they're cute Okay, I'm um, loading into Barnacle Bay. Oh, I did a ton of renovation. Why do I wanna visit Amsterdam so much? I don't have a reason. I went to France and Italy and London. Oh my God, I loved going to London with my grandma, me and my grandma, we never traveled. My grandma's never been in the United States and the first time she did was with me to go to London. I don't know, I just love traveling in Europe. It just feels, it just hits different. It hits different than traveling in the United States. I've traveled, the only, the only part of the United States I haven't been to is the West Coast, but like, like I don't have any family that lives up there or I don't have any reason really to go to the West Coast. I don't have any interest in traveling to California, honestly. Seems like it'd be very overstimulating, but 
traveling in Europe hits so different because they have great public transit. The people are usually super nice, at least the Europeans I've met are like super nice. So that's why I need to go to Amsterdam. I need to go to Amsterdam pronto. Um, wait, Valerie sent a message about having a full beat on and I missed it. Valerie says having my full beat on is such is such having my full beat on is such such is such I, I can't make sense of the message it's hard for my social anxiety people react differently no people treat you differently if i walk outside with this face of makeup on versus if i'm like bare face i get treated so differently so differently <sighs> and it sucks i wish i could just like have makeup on all the time and, and not have it take like an hour to do you have family in sweden that's another place i want to visit no amsterdam like i'm like manifesting amsterdam super hard um i want to go with my sister or my friend i don't know who yet but um you i also get i feel like i do get treated better with makeup. like people I, I went on a field trip this is the same field trip i was talking about in the story i just told this girl kept calling me like really pretty and it was like making me feel really shy <laughs> and she's like can i take a picture of your nails and like don't get me wrong like i i really appreciate it i was like thank you thank you i let her take i let her get a picture of my nails but um yeah that that would have never happened like if i didn't have a full beat on you know what i mean so Aww. Anyways, yeah, it was super sweet. It was super sweet. I appreciate it. I've never met her before either, so it was cool. And she's also a computer science student at my at the community college I go to. So it's fun meeting members of the community where I live. Um, someone asked uh LSP says, Oh geez, it's the first time I see you live. Every time I play this, I play, I watch your Sims 2 videos. Thank you. Um, R.R. Simmer says, sorry, social anxiety is fear, is fearing walking crosswalks as people in their car watch you walk by. Look into EF Ultimate Break. They have great trips for young adults. Ooh. Um, 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 um. It's the idea that you have put effort into your appearance so people treat you better. That's true. I stopped wearing makeup, so I stopped getting cat cold. Oh my God. When I was in living in New York City, um, when I was an intern, holy. It, have you, did y'all see that story of those girls getting punched in the face in New York by this guy? Has anyone seen that? The guy got caught, but there was this, there was this guy that was going around New York City punching girls in the face, just like random girls. Like he never had talked to them before. He was just punching them in the face. And it took, it took like 15 different girls to get this guy caught. What is going on in New York? I haven't been in New York since I was an intern down there, but holy bell says i've been watching your youtube videos for a while and this is my first time at your live so excited yay welcome bell i feel like i like i have like a ogre in my nose but i don't think i do it's just super itchy anyone else that wears makeup get like a super itchy nose when they put on foundation it makes my nose so itchy um someone has a question let me see where i gotta scroll up a little bit in chat okay some people have seen the girls getting punched in the face in new york city red light district is the number one isn't marijuana legal in in amsterdam too oh um nikki d says i wish i could do makeup any tips i grew up watching tati jeffree star uh nikki digital like i grew up in the golden age of makeup youtube so that's how i learned that was back in like 2014 2015 so i learned by observation but i don't know maybe tiktok like i feel like most youth if i was a kid nowadays like 12 13 years old i would definitely learn on tiktok the golden age of makeup i feel like well yeah but the people that were on youtube like nikki tutorials is so talented like she is really really talented <laughs> and you did it at my birthday dinner <laughs> you bought actual weed and edibles i wonder like how how many dutch people actually partake in the marijuana since it's like legal there isn't it like one of the only european countries that has legalized marijuana or am i making that up your base looks so good what do you use grabbing my whole makeup container 
I can show you. Look at the bow. Please just observe the bow in my hair. Isn't it cute? It is legal. And what's funny to me is that only a small percentage of people buying it are actually Dutch. It must be mostly tourists, right? Yeah. Okay, this is the this is the base I use. Um, if you have acne, do not use this. Do not I do not use this. Listen, I I'm gonna plug my Accutane journey, and I'm not sponsored. Just really loved what Accutane did for me. Theodore, th no throw. Thero Drea. Thero Drea just subscribed. Thank you. You look so pretty, Maddie. Thank you. You told me how to say your name, and now I'm just like forgetting. Okay, not not sponsored, but I love what Accutane did for my skin. Um, someone said, uh, "Have I had any side effects? Um, only dryness and really sore joints. That was what happened. That those were my side effects. But like long term, no. I'm like back to how I was before, just with no acne on my face." But anyway, I was saying, I was saying, if you have acne, do not use this. This is Elf Halo Glow. This is what I used on my face. And um, this does not cover shit. So if you have acne, do not use this because it's not going to cover your pimples. When I had acne, I would use, this was my go-to. Born this way, Too Faced. So good. This stuff is so good for covering acne. So that's my little, that's my little makeup moment. You look so beat up before. <laughs> Thank you, Jackson. Born this way, slay. Yeah, no, that that is such a good, that is such a good foundation. It really is. The Elf Halo Glow is, is really inexpensive too. But yeah, just like, look at my acne. It's so much better. It's so, so much better. And all this scar, this is all scarring right here, but this is starting to fade very, very slowly. Very, very slowly. Yeah, the Halo Glow is really good. Halo Glow is really, really good, so. It also helps my hair too. My hair doesn't get as oily as it used to. Accutane saves lives and mental health. Yes, no, no, no. My mental health got so much better um, when my acne went away. <laughs> you did not look beat up. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate, appreciate the support. <laughs> it's just, my mom never had acne. I don't know. I don't know my dad, so I don't, I don't, I don't know anything about him, but um, my mom never said she had acne and like, I don't know why I have so much, I had so much acne. King Calisto says they sell it, meaning marijuana in Dutch coffee shops. It's actually really dope. No <laughs> pun intended. When did you do this? When did I go on Accutane? I went on Accutane, maybe I started about a year ago at, uh, at this point. Maybe I started about a year ago. And I was taking it up until like three months ago. It was like an eight month type of thing. It was an eight month, eight month part of my life. You just realized you had leftover steak from your car? I don't know if I'd eat that. <laughs> um, no, but yeah, Heavenly Berries to answer your question, the only side effects I had were super intense dry skin and sore joints. The, sore, the soreness in the joints was the absolute worst. Does the acne ever come back? My dermatologist said for like 70% of people, the acne, the acne, <laughs> the acne, the acne won't come back, but I haven't, it hasn't come back for me. So fingers crossed it doesn't come back, but Malachi has a cousin and I was talking to her about it. And she said that hers, she had to go on it twice. She had to go on Accutane twice. Oh yeah, don't get pregnant on Accutane. Um, it will mess up the fetus so bad. I had to get monthly pregnancy tests done. They made me take them in office and it was crazy. They And it says all over the packaging, do not get pregnant, do not get pregnant, do not get pregnant. Do not get pregnant while you're on this drug. They did give me trentinoin, but I haven't been using it. I probably should, cause it's good for anti-aging. I'm not eating the 24 hour old steak. Yuck. I have really bad um, under eye circles, dark circles. That's what they're called. I feel like for most people, dark circles are genetic. Does your acne have to be hormonal for the Accutane? Mine was hormonal. Birth control I know can help, but I didn't like being on birth control. So that's why I didn't do that route. I was on birth control. I just, I didn't like it. 
Oh, Holly, Holly, back on the Netherlands discussion, a lot of them smoke rather than vape as well. I feel like a lot of Europeans in general smoke though, because when I went to France, they were like young people. This is so weird. Young people smoking cigarettes is so weird, at least here in America. Like if I were to see someone else who's 23 years old smoking a cigarette, I'd be like, what? Like, that's so weird. We were raised with all those like deadly, cigarette ads on like tv and radio and all that kind of stuff i feel like it's really rare for someone my age to be smoking cigarettes but when i went to france and italy there are young people smoking cigarettes which is it's just it's crazy it's crazy to contextualize the smoking culture around the world i live in southern europe oh i know like a lot of people in the uk smoke too oh it's gross, IMO, and yes, I do judge. Canadian cigarette boxes are enough to deter me. Oh, they they have the, uh, I saw a used cigarette carton when I was in, um, when I was in, uh, in France, when I went to Lyon, couldn't think of the name Lyon. They have the, those pictures on there, like the really gross after effects of smoking and people still buy them. We don't have that in America. Like we don't have those pictures on the smoking cartons of where it's like, this will be you if you smoke cigarettes long-term. They don't have to put that on here. It's like not a mandate, but they have, I think they have to put that on the cigarette cartons in Europe. And so <laughs> you see like a tossed out, like a litter um, cigarette carton. And it's like the most disgusting picture you can see of someone smoking cigarettes of like what it does to your insides is gross. It's so gross, but they have to have that on all the cartons, I think. I don't know. I'm not a European, I don't know. But seeing it like thrown, like the carton like thrown on the ground was like, it was like, a, it was jarring for me. It was really jarring. I do have a nicotine addiction. I live in America, but do you smoke or do you vape? Because I feel like it's different. Like a lot of young people do vape, but that's, I feel like, cigarettes are kind of fading for young people and vaping is kind of taking over so oh you oh in australia you guys have to put those disgusting pictures on the cartons <laughs> yeah the, there's a ton of young people that smoke in france i know that when i went when I, when I went there so many young people this was so random but um i went when i went i don't think i ever told this story when i went out with my friend she thought that this french guy she's french she thought that this french guy was really cute and so he asked her to the club and the three of us went to the club later that night when we were in for i never told the story that I, when we were in paris right and it ends up the guy um was on like x factor france or something like that like he could play like the piano like guitar it was crazy it was so crazy it's like though it's like when you're meeting people like that it's crazy the kind of people you'll you'll run into if you just if you just like meet people in real life as opposed to meeting people you know a lot of people i feel like nowadays meet people on like dating apps or online or whatever but if you go out in a big city and meet people face to face the people you meet are sometimes crazy like it's crazy it's crazy it's crazy to think about it was an Irish pub, but if we're being specific, I don't know. It was the first, it was the first and last time I've ever been to like a, like a club or a, I don't know what it was. Club, pub. What is the difference between a club and a pub? Who knows? I never figured it out. I didn't. He, though, they thought the, the, uh, French guy and my friend, the French, my French friend, they thought it was so weird because I don't drink alcohol. They thought it was so weird because I was like, can I just have a water? And he was like, if I go up to the bartender and order this water for you, they're going to look at me so weird. <laughs> I was like, I don't drink. I'm sorry. I don't drink. I don't drink alcohol. I don't drink alcohol. But yeah, there's a huge smoking culture among young people in, in France. That was like the moral of the story because the, 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 the guy who was on X Factor France, he smoked cigarettes and he was maybe even younger than me. Like he might've been like a year younger than me. And so he was probably in like 20 or 21 or something. I feel like meeting people and just randomly becoming friends is a lost art. No, that's what I'm talking about. Like meeting people face to face is crazy because sometimes you'll meet like 
people like that where they were on x factor france and they're like insanely talented and they can play guitar and piano and it was like super it's super interesting meeting people face to face and i feel like i, I stayed at a hostel in in new york city when i was like 16 years old that was a crazy story um i was going to a bts concert and i stayed at a hostel and the people that were bunking below me were in new york city from germany to run a race and it's like it's like that where you meet like really interesting people if you just put yourself out there and talk to people face to face i'm not someone that can do that like i i don't do that i can't do that like i'm i'm not shy i can talk if i need to but i don't go out of my way to talk to people but if you do if you do put yourself out there you meet some pretty cool people pubs turn into chill clubs late at night i don't know the difference I don't know the difference. I've also, I was never on dating apps or anything like that. Never went on a dating app. I met my boyfriend on Valorant. <laughs> I feel like people don't know that. <laughs> I met my boyfriend on Valorant. <laughs> I love your shirt. Thank you. People keep talking about it. I'm manifesting going to Amsterdam. I'm manifesting it. You met your boyfriend on Tinder. I met my boyfriend on Skype. Oh. That's interesting. Do people still use Skype nowadays? Okay, sorry. I'm like, I've just been talking, but you know what? You guys like it, right? I, I mean, I mean to start. I mean to start some Sims, I promise. I mean to start Sims. Skype revived a long lost memory. Met mine on Discord. Rip Skype. I, I feel like me and Malachi can kind of credit our relationship a little bit to discord because we talk like every day on discord when we first met me and malachi are always uh always almost three years it's almost been three years y'all i love the beginning of the stream yeah me too i just like like kiki with you guys it's fun it's fun Aww. almost three years with malachi Woo! they should fund the wedding you guys hear that fund our wedding don't wait don't talk about wedding because you'll you'll put ideas in their mind that we're engaged or something like that not yet i don't want i don't want to i don't want it to be like i'm pressuring him don't 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 think that though it is a red flag listen what do you guys think about like couples who have been together for eight years and they haven't gotten engaged yet. Do you think that's a red flag? Cause I think it's kind of a red flag. Like eight years, like if you're together for eight years and you aren't engaged yet and you're living together, it feels like they don't want to make like a, like a commitment. Like if you, I don't, I don't know. There was a, there was a Reddit, there was a Reddit post about that. Like, what is a red flag? Is it a red flag if you've been dating for like five, six, seven, eight years and you aren't married yet? I think not everyone has to get married. Some don't see it. Yeah, I'm talking about like if one partner really wants to get married and like the other one doesn't, like that's feels like something you should discuss when you first start dating somebody is, okay, do you want to get married someday? Anyone dating for five years without marriage is more likely to get divorced. Oh, is that true? It kind of shows weird commitment issues. And it's perfectly fine to stay casual with each other for 10 years. Honestly, weddings are so expensive. Maybe that's why. I think after five to six years, you don't need to get married, but you got to start calling them your partner or your boyfriend or girlfriend. That's a good point. It depends on the couple. My boyfriend and I are hitting seven years at the end of the month, but we really don't care to get married. If it happens, it happens. Yeah, I'm talking about like if one partner really wants to get married and like the other one doesn't that to me is like a it's kind of like a it, it's it, it's an uncomfortable situation it is it is an uncomfortable situation i would i can't wait for me and mal to move in like it's not happening anytime soon we have not discussed that but um when he gets his electrician license he wants to move up to new york so we'll see how that goes i don't know we haven't like put anything in stone yet because i'm still in school so a lot could change but um i want i want to have like a super cool gaming room like i want to have like a instead of having my bed because i feel like the bed behind me like just having my bed behind me 
I don't like it. I want to have like a, a, a super cute like gaming room setup where like I can stream and you guys can see like my super my super cute aesthetic setup. My 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 setup is is like an absolute mess, but yeah. Show the cat pillow. This one. Me in the background raging at Overwatch. It's cozy vibes though. I'm a train with when she was still relatable. It's my, it's a, it's a pillow of my cat, my cat, Leo. My partner and I, and I have been together for nine years. We live together, but we're just trying to save for a house before marriage and everything is so expensive. Do you live, I live with my parents. <laughs> I live with my mom and her boyfriend. <laughs> if I lived, if I lived in my own apartment, I think I'd be streaming more to be honest. It's hard, it's hard to stream because, um, my parents are kind of loud. My mom is loud and her boyfriend are loud. <laughs> Show cat. He's not in here, unfortunately. I would show you guys the rest of my... Should I flash my room real quick? That's the outside. It's so dirty. <laughs> here, you guys get a quick flash. Quick flash. <laughs> quick flash. <laughs> like, it's just my room is kind of small. It like ends like over there. I have a ton of books, like a random hanger hanging up there. So... How old am I? I'm 23. Paying rent and trying to save for a mortgage sucks. Quick flash. My hair kind of reminds me of Clem's hair. Oh, I should read a, I should read some of the comments before we get in. Sorry. I've been just, I've been just yapping, you know, beginning of the stream yap as someone called it. Um, someone had a comment about my hair, right? So let me let me read. I love I love reading the comments before uh, before that we get into the meat and potatoes. OK. What's my current read? I literally can't finish this book like this is a light, by the way, if I'm reading like in the dark, I don't know how to turn it on. I just I just bought it like the other day. I cannot finish this book. It's putting me in a reading slump. This book right here, it's the last book in the series and I can't do it, dude. I don't know if it's like I'm busy or I don't want to make time for it, but dude, I can't, I can't get myself back into reading it. Do you ever, do you guys ever have a book like that where like you pick it up and like it's super fun. It's a good idea in theory, but then you cannot sit through it. I like, I can't sit through it. I can't, I can't force myself to sit down and read this book. I just don't like it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lunar Chronicles. I've heard you're like absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, what is going on with this light? <laughs> but I just, I can't. I It's the last book. Like I just need to finish it. I just need to sit my ass down and read it. But it's, a, it's like 800 pages. Like, what do you have to say that's 800 pages? Can you just sum it up in 300? Like 300, please. 300 or less. That would be great. How are you writing for 800 pages? That's crazy. Kingdom of Ash would like a word. <laughs> That's why I can't read Stephen King. Stephen King is actually the longest book I've ever read. It by Stephen King. I love horror. I love horror. It's so good. It's so good. I just, I love horror games, horror movies. I can't play horror games because they freak me out too much, but like I love watching um horror streamers like i have a favorite streamer right now that plays horror games only like solely horror games his name is insim i just i love horror i like i like being freaked out i like that kind of stuff so like i, I like to watch horror movies just for no reason <laughs> i couldn't sleep one night so i watched nightmare on elm street you would think i'd watch something like more comfortable or whatever but no nightmare on elm street <laughs> I can't play horror games. I get too freaked out. What's my budget trip for the Netherlands? My sister is a travel agent who and says New York City to Amsterdam can be low as 380 round trip in the fall. I don't really have a budget. I haven't really figured it out yet, but I want to go in uh, like April because that's when all the tulips start to bloom, I think. So anyway, people are probably thinking this is a vape. This is not a vape. If you look, I feel like if you look at it kind of quick, like, no. <laughs> um, okay. 
so let me let's 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 jump into some sim stuff shall we that i've been needing to do for like the past 47 minutes okay so last stream let me pull up the comments let's look at let's take a little look at the comments shall we so i introduced Anne burgundy shout out Anne burgundy who you just typed in chat thank you for this amazing house so beautiful the one and only Anne burgundy and okay someone said i can't believe you didn't have notice dina having a kid so we need to check this right now because we're needing we need to see dina because apparently she had a freaking kid guys like what girly pop i don't even think it's been a week okay it's day seven yeah it hasn't even been a week yet how did dina already have a kid let me go i'm gonna go to this way and we'll find her we will find her this way the hell did dina already have a kid okay let's see she had triplets dina had triplets oh my god and nina's dating azure we knew this though we knew this but dina had triplets are you shitting me dina their names are ingrid which is i love that name ingrid Beatrice and Leanne. Ooh. They're triplet girls. That's so cute. She had them with this guy, Richie Radon, who is evil. He's an evil sim. Dina, girly pop, please have some higher standards. <laughs> Here's what he looks like. Let's see. He reminds me of Romeo Rake a little bit. Dina loves evil men. I, I'm trying to see him without Dina. sunglasses on. Does he only wear sunglasses? Let's see. Please take off the glasses. Please, for the love of God, take off the glasses. Um, He's fine. He looks a little bit like Romeo Rake. Like, come on. Anyway, so that's who she had kids with. Should we check out what they're going to look like when they age up? sunglasses stay off during sex definitely interesting okay so we're gonna look at uh beatrice I, I wonder if they're identical identical triplets that'd be so cute if she has identical triplets are you kidding me so oh slay oh my god it's like a spitting image of dina okay wow okay wait, wait, what's her name uh slay beatrice okay so there's beatrice I'd let her ruin me. <laughs> There's Beatrice. We're gonna look at the other one. What was her name? Beatrice. Um, Ingrid. I love that name, Ingrid. It's cute, Ingrid. Here's Ingrid. She's pretty. Very pretty. Um, the outfit is tragic, but ignore that. Okay, and then they're not identical, by the way, because that that one had brown hair. And then the last one is Leanne. The last one's Leanne. Let's look at Leanne. I need Ingrid in my Simbin. <laughs> okay, here is Leanne. She needs, hold on, let me put some hair on her so we can see what she looks like. Okay, wait, hold on, that was a bad, that was a bad example. The eyebrows are ruining it. Wait, she might be the prettiest one. Oh wait, her eyebrows are kind of crazy. Her eyebrows are kind of, they're kind of like, evil like when ea tries to make like an evil sim they give eyebrows like this but um she's cute she's cute she needs a little bit of eyebrow plastic surgery but Ooh. i can probably finesse some nice eyebrows on her but yeah all the caliente daughters ingrid leanne and beatrice i'm trying to get their names straight um so cute absolutely cute okay let's go back to the comment section so thank you silly no for bringing up that dina had triplets can't believe that and you said having a kid well try having three kids because that's that's crazy right all right let's see what else thank you everyone for the support just looking through the comments uh fandom geek asked what expansions are you using with this challenge i've noticed seasons uni pets i'm, I'm assuming no into the future you'd be right about that i actually have the ones i'm using if you go to this post all this one all these ones on here are what I'm using in, um, in this. So there's that. Okay. Let me quickly, 
let's see i think there was another comment too that i wanted to bring up someone said something about my hair it's like brown i wanted to talk about that <laughs> uh let's see let's see let's see can i find it let me type in brown someone said it's oh Oh yes, it was on this series, so I, f I feel the need to, since it was on this series, I feel like it's applicable. Okay, we have a ruling. So if you don't know, there's been like a long running, there's been a long running drama w on my channel. Like when I was a kid, I had super blonde hair. Yeah, don't make Maddie talk about her hair color. No, what have you done? <laughs> hair color talk. Okay, I'll make it short. Erica says, hairstyle hairstylist here, you legitimately have brown hair. You have mid slash light brown. You're 100% not blonde. It's the same color as my hair. So we have a hairstylist that chimed in. My hair is light brown. Um, I guess it darkens as you get older. So there's the official ruling. Okay. She took it too. She took that too personally. No, it's okay. It's okay. People, people ride about their hair color. We all had blonde hair when we were kids, Maddie. We are white. <laughs> okay, so there's there's the there's our little little YouTube pre uh pre game moment. I hope you guys like. If you wanna if you wanna leave a comment, if I find it interesting, I'll read it in the beginning of this. This is like my room is like really warm right now. Hold on, I gotta pop a window. I gotta pop a window. Ugh. Oh, thank you, Minky. Minky Key. Minky Key. Minky Key just subscribed. Your hair looks so cute today, E. Thank Growing you. Heart. Thank you, Minky Key. <laughs> Loons Cam says, is it even Maddie's stream if we don't talk about acne and hair color? The acne and hair color are something that have been gripping me for years. Patricia says, no joke, in my country, you'd be considered a blonde. Oh, no. Not me coming back to the hair drama. Listen, we always got we always got hair color drama. Lord says I had blonde hair from ages 13 to 19 and I'm black. <laughs> your hair was blonde when you're when you were blonde. Uh, your hair was your hair when you were we was blonde because your jeans were like, nah, we don't need color hair right now. And then you get older, your jeans were like, oh, better give her a hair color. I had super blonde hair as a kid. Okay, sorry. Sorry, the blonde hair, the blonde hair debacle always, it's gripping my, it's gripping my chat. It's gripping my chat. I've been thinking about dyeing it recently. I think I should go ginger. What do you guys think? Should I dye my hair ginger? I think I, uh, my, my skin is very fair. I think I could rock, rock ginger hair. Okay, um, so what have I done? I played a couple, I played a couple days off, off screen because... It was like Thursday and I had finished school for the week and I'm like, it was in a good mood. So I was like, let's play some Sims 3 on my downtime, which by the way, I haven't played Sims 3 on my downtime Lovely. since I started YouTube. So that was fun to play a little bit, a little bit, a little bit off camera. But when I played off camera, I added a couple lots. Should we, should we take a look at a little glimpse at the lots that I added? I added a bar around town. This one was already here. I just added um a professional bar and some stuff to do because there was nothing to do at these lots like z literally zero you guys should see the original lot that ea had here it was like 15 rows of the quick drinks bars it was like so stupid like why my sister just texted me why was there 15 the quick drinks bar was it's just so stupid that they don't do anything oh also I don't know what happened, but I think Mocha was supposed to get taken away and then Air Trap was like, nope, because isn't this the mood that you get when a pet is supposed to get taken away? <laughs> Mocha's still here though. She's still thriving. I think I just wasn't paying attention and she had like no social, so oops. Oopsie. All right, and then what else did I add? Oh, I added this lot we all know this one i've used this one time and time again this is the stone's throw greenhouse <laughs> yeah mocha's still here air trap prevented the ability to take the pet away so um oopsie just wasn't paying attention that would be really bad uh i think someone was supposed to age up right someone oh they're on okay i hate this deeper conversation this deeper conversations prompt is just so extra like it it sets the sim on fire it's so stupid can you put your dad out please 
Please put your data. I did remove the spawners. Don't worry. I did remove the spawners on that log. Yes. Yeah. The fire. Oh, he's called the fire department? No, I'm gonna get fined. Why would you call the fire department? You stupid baller. I'm gonna get fined. He just called the fire department because they were on fire. Oh, you are so stupid, you stupid butler. You stupid butler. You stupid butler. I'm gonna get a huge fine. 500 simoleons, right? Oh, no. Okay, they're like, yeah, you already extinguished it. Yay. Do y'all remember when I used to play with that more intense fires mod? That was crazy. There was, the fires would spread so much. It was just, it was wild. Okay, so I think why I was playing off screen was because I wanted to fix the garden up like i wanted to get sage's lifetime wish done and it's a lot of grindy type of stuff so that's why i was like playing off screen but anyway we're here now we're gonna try sage's lifetime wish for the millionth time Loki missed the intense fires that was absolutely crazy oh i think in the last stream too didn't clementine have her first woohoo with her new boyfriend should we give philip a makeover before we start the stream where we get really into this so this is clem's boyfriend um she had all her firsts with him her first woohoo her first kiss her first boyfriend and i actually really love that sorry i have to crack my neck i'm sorry that if that grosses you out um i kind of would like to put like something like this on him i never use his hair but i think it'd be really cute on him he has like a really cute style i love his emo style i don't know i don't play with like a lot of emo sims and any sims game so i'm jumping at any chance and this is how like he already was so might as well go for it right i think i'm gonna give him this hair this is uh the hair that comes with my mind's blinking my mind's blinking it's the it's the town that um all of specter is in in the sims 3 what is that called Someone's someone someone say it right now. Someone in chat say it right now. Midnight Hollow, thank you. I don't know why my mind is like blinking. I give him a nose mask. I've just haven't been using nose masks lately. Does anyone else feel like this? Like it takes too much. It takes too much time and effort sometimes to, to use a nose mask. I'm like I don't want to. There we go. Okay, he has eyeliner on, which is slay. Honestly, I'm gonna give him like just a little bit of. A na I'm gonna give a natural lip. We're gonna go. We're gonna go natural. Okay. I know it looks crazy. <laughs> I'll fix it. Don't worry. I know it looks crazy, guys. Okay. I know. I know. I know. The orange earring is a choice. See, I think I could. Like, I want to keep his style because I think it's actually pretty cool that EA did like a did like a emo type of sim. So I'm gonna keep his. I'm gonna keep the style, but I want to like just tweak it a little bit. When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. Is that like, he's like a My Chemical Romance, My Chemical Romance type of guy? I feel like we, we could give him a really cute makeover and, and still keep his, still keep his emo style. Just trying to see like what I can do. Trying, there's like a skull pattern, I know, because EA used it on VJ Alvi. Someone in chat just said VJ Alvi. Um, I didn't read the message out, but I agree with you. VJ Alvi is like his inspo, you know? Even though he probably, he, he, de he definitely does not know VJ Alvi. I downloaded some really cute hairs too, so I'm feeling like Miss Sage should get a makeover at some point. Uh, not Sage, I meant Clem. Yeah, I downloaded so many cute hairs. Try themed, yeah. I'm, 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 I made my way there eventually. <laughs> Here we go. That's cute. That's a custom pattern. We'll just use that. I think I want to keep his skinny jeans too. The skinny jeans. It's a look. It's a look. These are from university. These are some of the nicer pants. I think Diesel honestly has the best male pants. Oh. Hmm. Might be better if I use diesel and make him like a dark, darker color. And let's just give him some vans. Give him some vans and we'll call it a makeover. Or we can give him some Converse. Oh, the Converse are so cute. I love the Converse. 
I like how Clem doesn't really have like a also the next scene is crazy, but Clem doesn't really have a style, which is it's cute that her boyfriend like definitely has a he definitely has a style. I don't know. I, I like that. I really do. Oh, I have a hat. Oh, this is something I just downloaded. This was this is a, a thing I found on on Tumblr. Mm. Oh, I have another watch too. I downloaded a custom watch. Ooh, that's a nice watch. Okay, he will be getting that. He will be getting that. Isn't Clem kind of like farming girly meets modern era? <laughs> what will we call Clem's style? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to copy this outfit onto his outerwear too. I'm going to copy... I'm going to go Enros, Master Controller. I'm going to just... I think it's under Intermediate, right? Copy clothing between categories. I'm going to copy his everyday attire onto his outerwear. And then now we need to remove the extra outerwear that he got so we'll move that one here we go okay cool so clem's boyfriend has officially been made over oh clem went to prom as well and off this is when i was playing a couple days i mean we've seen prom time and time again unfortunately um you know what hold on a sec i'm gonna try something that i've never tried before i'm gonna try to regenerate the prom photos i know with enros debug enabler you can actually like say you lose the prom photo or whatever you can actually go in with enros debug enabler and regenerate it so that you have an extra photo i've never done it before i don't think and i don't know if it works but we can give it a little experiment a little experimentation where's the school app why can't i find it oh wait it's right here i'm glazing over it where is it right here <laughs> I don't know why it was right in front of my face. Okay, debug enabler. We're gonna go in here. Uh, let's go in with, where is it at? Sim? Nope, that's definitely not it. You can throw a prom. Maybe I have to click on Clem. I think I have to click on Clem with debug enabler. I don't think it's on the school. Enros debug enabler options. It's hard to see this menu because of my MXAO. Where is it under? I just want my prom photos. I want to retake my prom photos. I always see it and like, I don't need it. I always see it when I don't need it. And then when I actually am, am going out of my way to look for it, I just can't find it. Generate, generate. It's under here somewhere. Generate prom photos for sim pairs. There we go. Okay, here we go. I just, it just did it. It just did it. It just did it. Okay, let's see. Let's see. We got a revamped one. Oh, she got a new one. <gasps> that is her father. <laughs> it's generated. <laughs> Oops. That was not how that was supposed to turn out. <laughs> Gonna delete that. I wanted to generate your boyfriend. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't. Okay, wait, maybe I need to bring him over. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we're gonna invite him over. <laughs> At least it wasn't the one where they kissed. I know. Oh my god. Did <laughs> not like where the dad's hands were there. <laughs> I think games fall for that. Oh my god. And the, it says Dallas went to prom. How do I remove that memory right now? <laughs> and no, the photo's in here. Oh my god, her body is stretched. Okay, we're gonna delete that right this inst I can't delete it. I can't delete it. <laughs> This is the second generation of my Star World legacy. Yes, it is. Clem's gonna have that picture. Oh, no, hers is fine. Hers is completely fine. It shows her and Philip. Oh my god, I cannot believe. Drew, Drew was in that picture. <gasps> no. Wait, why is it generating him, him and his...
I am out of words. I am speechless. <laughs> I am speechless. Challenge everything. I am absolutely speechless. I can't it put him and his little brother in the prom photo. No! It put him in Sage. Oh my god, jail. 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 <laughs> what is going on? I just want to generate a little prom photo. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. I need to cleanse my mind after this one. Why can't I drag his out? Okay, his is empty. Thank the heavens. Holy. I'm glad I don't have to see. Okay, and then hers is going to be with her son. I have created an abomination. Okay, hers is empty too. Thank God. All right, so that was bad. Yep, that was definitely bad. Um. Oh, Hot Grill has a has a little hack for us. The way to get perfect plants is to keep replanting them. For example, if you have a very nice quality apple and you plant it, it should get improved and so probably uh, it's quality great. And then when it grows again, you should collect the great apple and replant it. Okay, so just basically keep replanting. Okay. All right, let's invite Philip. Can I invite? Is he okay? He's going home. All right, whatever. I guess I I just. Oh, the, does the horse have one? No, she does not have one. Oh, Yunki, did did, you, did I forget your VIP? I'm sorry. Yes, I can do it. <laughs> not Mocha's first prom. <laughs> Mocha, Mocha's got her prom. Mocha, luckily Mocha was, um, Mocha did not get dragged into going to prom. All right, let's, let's give Yunki their prom their vip i almost said let's give yunki their prom <laughs> yunki let's give you your prom let's see did anyone else redeem a vip i forget i have to manually do it so that's why sometimes oh my gosh we have three requests wait vigil vigil already got it goopy got it and so yunki you're the only one i thought i i thought i missed some other people yunki's first prom yay <laughs> Congrats, Yunki. All right. Uh, Yunki Min. Is your profile picture Yunki from BTS? Do I see that correctly? I'm, I'm, now I'm like, now I'm like inspector gadgeting your profile picture. You got your VIP. Congrats. Oh, it's Jungkook. Okay. I understand. I understand then. I understand. I was, I was a Jungkook girly when I, back when I loved BTS. <clears throat> Why did Enros auto pair her? I think it looks for two people. It doesn't like it doesn't allow me to choose the two people. So it just generated her with her dad. I think if if Philip was on the lot with us, I think it would have chosen him, but since he wasn't here with us, it <laughs> chose her dad. Putting Yuki on blast. I am. Why is the butler not repairing our stuff? That's what I want to know. He's also not like cleaning. Am I hallucinating this, or is he like actually not cleaning? He he's he's not repairing the shower. I'm so confused. I know he can do it because I think he did it before. I think he did it before. I guess I'll just call a repair technician. I don't know why Sage needs so much social. Like I said, I was playing a couple days off off screen and i just like wasn't really i wasn't really paying attention I, I, as you can see mocha almost got taken away had enros oh my gosh what else broke the butler is low-key trash they are i swear they are he is trying to get fired i think the butler was a good idea the butler was a good idea all right let's see you're gonna talk to sage a little bit because she needs some she needs some social Sage, no. Dallas with his ancient wife. Oh, Dallas is aging up tomorrow in game. Old man Dallas with his old wife, Sage. Okay, I'm gonna send them to bed. Dallas needs to go to bed. 
and then i think i also figured out what the like last stream i was having stuttering every couple of seconds but i think it's gone i don't know what i did i don't think i did anything oh i did do something um i fixed someone in my discord let me see someone in my discord gave some gave me some really good advice because i was asking I was asking, I said in my Discord, has anybody had any problems with micro freezes in Barnacle Bay? And someone said to me, what was the advice? Because I think, let me see if I can give it to you guys. It was an Enroll setting. Ah, here it is. Okay, so what is their name? Let me give you, let me give you a shout out. Oh, I can't because streamer mode is on. <laughs> streamer mode is on. It won't, it won't, it won't. It won't reveal your name but in my discord they suggested if you go into enroll story progression this is two settings i actually didn't know about i mean this mod is huge so i learn new things every day i swear but if you go to situations if you go under general if you go to situations and then you check the speed they said that i believe this was set to 10 meaning every 10 seconds it was running a check in story progression which is like crazy like that every 10 sim minutes it's doing a check that's crazy that's too that's too short and then this was a big one guys you would need to change this if you go in under town options and you go down to stasis i didn't know what this did i mean i saw the thing before this will make it oh you have to do it under cast options and then go to non-active family otherwise if you do it under town it'll it'll affect your family too. But if you go under non-active family under cast options and you turn stasis to true, this will make it so nobody, um, everybody but your family, no. Every every non-active sim in town no longer has needs that need to be taken care of, which really helps because it helps with like grouting. Cause like when sims, sometimes, you know, you know when sims like go and try to use the fridge at the same time and it like screws things up and they like, start lagging it's just super annoying if you turn that if you turn that to true they won't have to take care of their needs anymore which is really nice and also sometimes when i invite some of my sims out with other sims in town they like leave immediately it's so annoying because they're like i'm too sleepy i need to take care of myself da, 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 da. so if you turn stasis to true under non-active and in the cast or progressions then it will make us they don't take care of their motives anymore everyone but your family which is so nice and i'm i i wish i knew about that before because i would have had it on okay the butler is stinky hi Flea. i'm gonna send sage back to sleep i'm in dallas go back to bed it's sunday end game hi fran Today's Drew's birthday. He's gonna be a teen. <clears throat> I feel like we always have the repair repair technician here. Okay, Drew's eating. Susa. Baby's eating. Can you put your brother? No, the the what's his face will do it. The butler. I'm gonna have Clem go and feed the chickens. Ever get the milk? Um, Marcus is calling Drew. Uh, who is Marcus? Oh, he's your friend. I should have said yes. It's his friend from school. He wants to feed Mocha some produce. Why does Mocha always need French, like social interaction? I mean, I feel like every single time I look at her, her social is so low. I'm so glad you fixed the stuttering. I, I had convinced myself it was the house's fault. No, it because I I uh, I tested the house on a clean small world that it's called builder's island and it's literally just like a couple lots and it's an empty world and it was fine so i knew it had to be the town i knew it had to be the town why are you so needy are horses really that needy like do they need social interaction so much i don't know i don't i've never i've literally never met a horse in real life i mean like actually like gone up and petted a horse i've never Never been around a horse. I'm drinking Coke, by the way. I, th this is my new addiction, Coca-Cola. It makes my teeth feel really gritty and like gross, but it tastes so good. Vanilla Coke. Mm, I love me and Coca-Cola. I'm sorry, that scratchy noise is terrible. I'm so sorry. 
have to get every last bit out of the can. Forces IRL will chill in the paddock. Paddock? That's, that's, I can tell you're Australian because no one here says paddock all day eating grass. I think we'd say pastures. <laughs> the paddock got the biggest goosebumps. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's like nails on a chalkboard. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do it. It was the straw. I personally cannot eat a meal without Coke. Okay, that's a little, that's a little too much. I have a coffee vanilla latte addiction. I was hand pressing espresso beans during the pandemic because I was addicted to espresso. I, I have like a little hand press that it pours. It does like a pour. This is, this is too technical, but it does a pour over, which is a, a technique. Like when you go to Starbucks, what they're doing is they're pouring shots into a espresso cup and then pouring it in the latte. And that was over explanation, but my my barista, my past barista self is needs to explain these things. Ew, Mountain Dew. Oh, oh, no, I can't. I can't do Mountain Dew. I'm sorry. I can't do it mm -mm. now that the, the color of Mountain Dew puts me off. It's an arrow. I think it's an arrow press. I think that's what it is. Soup, soap sacks. I think I think that's what it is. You have to press it like really hard and you have to tighten it. And then I think the air in it pours. does like a pour. I don't know. I don't know the logistics of it, but it's really cool. It's a really cool. I miss working at Star. I, I out of all the part time jobs I had when I was in high school, one of them was I was a cashier at a grocery store. That job I absolutely hated. The other one I was a they called a sandwich artist at Subway when I was 16. And then the last job I had before I went off to college was uh, working as a barista. And I loved working as a barista. It's very like high. Um, you have to you have to do like a lot of running around and like you're always busy and stuff. So time passed really quickly because I was always like doing something. So I loved I loved being a barista. If I if I had to get like a part time job tomorrow. I would, I would be a barista again because I loved it. <laughs> you totally worked in all the aspects of food related retail jobs. I hated being a cashier. It was it was like the most unstimulating thing I've ever done. You just sit at a scanner and scan items all day it was terrible. It was so boring. It was just so it was like my mind was like not stimulated enough. It was like I, I, I was I would go into work dreading it and hating it because of how like for some people that's that's the kind of job that they need. Like they need to not be, you know, running around doing this, 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 that, and the other. But for me, I have to be distracted at work. Like I have to be doing a million things at once because otherwise I just get bored and like I start dreading it. I, if I had to get a part-time job tomorrow, I would become a barista again. I would. Obviously it's not a job I would like I wouldn't set out in my life to be a barista, but um, it was my favorite part-time job I had. Burp. Did you just burp in your dad's face? Oh, your little brother's face. That's great. Okay. Why don't you go on a date with your boyfriend? Let's let's invite him out. Let's get some cute pictures, shall we? Let's go out. Let's go to the Sunstar Greenhouse. Do you buy the world? So now you can actually go to my Discord. If you type in exclamation point Discord, it will give you a link. And if you look in the CC and Mods channel, I have a master list of all of the Sims 3 store world, so you can comb through that and get which ones you want. Okay, Sage is gonna go take a shower. Um, she still has more stuff to harvest. Why did you stop? Why did you stop harvesting? Also, Maddie, did you get to see the eclipse? I did get to see the eclipse. I posted pictures on Discord and I had a, I was in totality um, where I was. And I got some amazing pictures, like just absolutely amazing. Okay, Philip's here. Hi, Philip. So they are official now. Now Clem wants to become best friends with him, which is really cute. So I'm gonna have them do that. I'm gonna see if I can get them. I think they have to be. Is it friendly? Their conversation mood has to be. I think that's what it is. It to be friendly. Smart. I apply for a retail job at Best Buy. All the Best Buys near me closed. <laughs> Patuna? Patuna Malifa wants to know if your Sims children would like to, 
to play. Oh, this is, uh, this is, this is what's his face's parents, Marcus. That's so cute. Wait a second, who called? I think it was Dallas that got that call, right? Okay, well, why don't you go over to Marcus's house? Where where does he live? Let's let's meet some of the residents. Where does I hate having to search? I cannot believe that Azure is dating Nina Caliente. That's such a power move. Where is Marcus Malifa? Where do you live? Is he coming? Oh, he's coming over to our house. Okay, cool. Brand, that would be very overwhelming for me to make a whole town. I could never, I can never finish it. I know I would start it and then I would just never finish it. <laughs> uh, can you please? There's like a button here that should say like, become best friends or whatever. Maybe they can't because, no, I think you can do it when you're boyfriend, girlfriend, right? It's raining too. We need an umbrella. It is fall time here in here in Barnacle Bay. The seasons are moving. There's an eclipse next year or 2027, maybe over Spain. So anyone in Europe, book those tickets, fan. <laughs> I love I love them gossiping. That's so, that's so me and my boyfriend. <laughs> I love when he tells me about like tea at work. His electrician T. <laughs> Thank you, Chris Angel. I appreciate it. Oh, Alex Angel just, just subscribed. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I thought it was. I thought it was friendly. Work tea is the best tea. I'm gonna have Clem ask if if he will protect her. Yeah, Clem's ribbon in her hair isn't it cute. Oh, I should show you guys the hairs I downloaded. I reblog them on my Tumblr if you want to check them out, but I haven't looked at them yet in game, so let's see. But he is shocking. I told him I told him to give me like an electrician pickup joke, and he like didn't know any. I love his hair and makeover. I know it looks good, right? Okay, so this is one of the hairs. Oh, it's so cute. I know the I know the hair tie is like weird, but this is so cute. I might give her this. Should we give her this hair? I just downloaded this. There's another one. There's another one. It's like a straight moment. She is a straight moment. And this is kind of like my hair right now. A little bit. This one is so freaking cute though. It, she looks a little bit like Sabrina Carpenter, but with brown hair. Does anyone get that? I think I'm gonna give her this one. I don't know why, but it just, it's giving Sabrina Carpenter. So we're gonna do it. I'm gonna take the bow out. I'll be honest. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It is pretty, isn't it? Yeah, this is the one. I'm gonna change your outfit too, just because, oh, that one's cute. That is so cute. Um, this was, this is totally Clem's outfit. We're, she's gonna go from, she's gonna go from like, oh, this is, are you kidding me? I know Clem, Clem probably isn't the type of girl to wear dress it. Like I can't, can't really see that for her, but, oh my gosh, dude. I want her to wear this dress. Like, it's just so cute, but it's not in her personality. And I'm gonna try, I'm trying to dress them according to the personality. Like, this is more Clem style, you know? This is like fall, it's like fall vibes too. So I think I'm gonna give her something. What color, what, what compliments are best? This color? Or this one looks cute on her, right? I think I'm between these two. Do we go A or do we go B, guys? A? or B? A or B? A or B? B, B, most people are saying B. A, B, <laughs> I think most people are saying B. B for sure. Okay, we're going with B because most people are saying B. All right, here's Clem's new vibe. I love the flower pattern, but B is no. better. Let's see. Let me see. Um, someone had a question. Hold on. I gotta pull up Twitch chat because it like disappears for my for my end. Let me get chat open. How did you feel about the whoop? Oh, where did they go? What the hell? Get inside. Oh, they're running inside. Okay. She looks like a university librarian. Isn't she cute? 
Like, oh my God, not the door inside of her. That is crazy. Wait, oh, Clem, I'm trying to get a cute picture of you, girl. Stop running everywhere. <laughs> She's like, got places to be. She's like, Maddie, I have places I have to be, girl. This is like, why is there so many notifications? Gurgling baby girls. Dude, do not talk about gurgling baby girls to your girlfriend. That's immediate no, your teenage girlfriend. <laughs> It's so dark. Oh, well, I'll just fix it up in Photoshop. I'll fix it in Photoshop. Pixel Dream says, can you please say what you set the situation speed to? 1440, which equates to every one day, every 24 hours. Is that what? 1440 minutes, two hours is, I think it's one day. Yeah, that's one day, 1440. <clears throat> Hashtag matching. Are they matching? They are kind of matching. They both have like fall colors. Hold on, I want to get a cute picture of her in front of the trees. Let's see. Come here, Clem. Put your damn book down, girl. She's giving librarian. Okay, wait, her in the rain is so cute. Are you shitting me? Please. She's so cute. Stunning, Clem. We're gonna get like a little tilt moment. If you guys don't know, you can hit shift and D and A at the same time and it will tilt your camera around. You have to be in tab mode though. Diego, thank you. Farmer Diego just subscribed. This is so vegan coded. <laughs> what? This is so vegan coded. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> This is so vegan coded. Is your UI modded? Yes, it's called Clean UI. <laughs> vegan cores. <laughs> That's such a Diego thing to say. This is so vegan coded. <laughs> okay, let me see. She's going to the bathroom and then where is he at? The applause was so perfectly timed. I can't. <laughs> thank you for the bitty sunshine. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Why is it like pitch black in here? Where are the lights? Didn't I add lights on this lot? I swear I added lights. They were by debug lights, but they were lights. Okay, damn it. Turn off all lights. Turn on all lights. That did nothing. That's great. Okay, nice. Um, do you have anything that speeds up cast while loading with CC? I use cast compressed mode in NROF Master Controller. That's why mine loads so quickly. <laughs> Can they kiss in the rain? Oh, isn't that like a special interaction? Let's go out here. Hold on, I need to call. Oh my gosh, she just got rained on. Rain on me, rain, rain. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I think they can kiss in the rain, right? That's like a little special interaction. Why is all I can do take a romantic photo? What? Wait, why is that my only, wait. He's still in high school, what? Why is that all they can do? I mean, it's cute, but like, why is that all they can do? Oh, why is he kissing her cheek? I mean, I guess that's that's okay. The hand placement, though. Can we just admire the hand placement? His hand placement. It's like giving maternity photo shoot. The hand placement. Maternity photo shoot. I use that too, and it loads fast, but not as fast as yours. <laughs> Might be my computer. I don't know. I don't think it's my computer. I just use com compact mode in like all my other <laughs> game fix mods <laughs> after all that woohoo last room yeah deeper conversations have them try for maybe twice what why can't i do any romantic stuff i'm so confused there's like nothing else in here well i wanted her to become best friends with him and i wanted him to i wanted them to kiss in the rain but like here let me swap let me swap to him quickly and oh shit no because if i swap to him then it's gonna max out this household's motives because i have that setting on oh i didn't even think about that when i swap between households now it's gonna max out whatever household i just swapped off some motives because of that setting i changed in in this regression oopsie Okay, well, I don't know why they can't do anything romantic. I'm very confused, but I'm gonna say goodbye to him, I guess. I wanted to have them become best friends. I can't. It's like not even coming up in here. 
why do you do this to me, game? So we'll, I guess we'll just say goodbye. Yeah, the baby brother looks like he's gonna get taken away soon. Listen, the butler's got it, right? The butler's got it. Oh, they're wooing here back at the house. In the spare bedroom, that's lovely. Meanwhile, the baby's crying bloody murder downstairs. Parents are upstairs woohooing. That's just fantastic. Love that for us. <laughs> Butler's about to get fired, let me tell you. Butler is gonna get fired. Oh, he's coming over. Never mind. Oh, it's Drew's birthday. Okay, we, we don't care. You're a spare. <laughs> we do not care. <laughs> he got rebellious. Okay, well that serves me right. That serves me right because I've just been neglecting him the whole the whole time. All right, I like his hair. His hair looks good on him. You're a spare. He is a spare. Who the f is Drew? That's a good question, Diego. He's Drew's like old. he's like a story progression kid, I think, or not a story progression kid, a uh, deeper conversations kid. He gets the Murphy bedroom. <laughs> and Burgundy, I think you were I think you were trying to set me up with that with that the bed in that room. He's a flop. He is a flop. He's one of the ones that gets kicked out as soon as he ages up too young at all. That's that's what happens if I don't if I don't like you. <laughs> he looks so shy. Super shy. Super shy. Let me see. I'm gonna give him should we give him boots? Cause it's fall. I think so. Weeb. Okay, I guess I have to do his formal wear. Oh, I downloaded that suit that I really like. It's uh I think it's this one. There's a suit from the Sims 3 store. It's from the Romanza set, by the way, if you're wondering. I found out. I, I combed through all the Sims 3 store sets. I'm like, where is that suit I really like? Ayaka. Yeah, I found it. It's the Romanza set from the Sims 3 store. So. Oh. Should we give him sweatpants? Oh. No. Should we give him matching pajamas? <laughs> matching Pushy. pajama time. Oh my gosh, what are those shoes he's wearing? What are those shoes? Not the university shoes. Suzel. That's fine. Zool. Top is fine. Feed him to the Kraken, Sims and Evil style. I really should play Sims and Evil again. When I start, I want to start just streaming more and I want to play. We need to finish Sims, the Sims on console. Someone in my comments was like, Maddie, please finish it. You were so close. I'm like, I know when I have time in the summer. When I have some time in the summer, we'll we'll stream more. We'll stream more and I will finish that. Okay, he's all set. Uh was it the Sims 2 console? No, it was the Sims 1 for console. Okay, you are gonna go sleep in this room over here. Total Drama Simmer asks, do you use the lot population mod? And if so, does it make your game lag? I do use it. Um, does it make my game lag? I don't think so. I mean, I haven't experienced really any lagging with it. I was having like micro stutters last game, but it seems to have gone away. As far as I can tell. Please take care of him. Please take care of him. Please take, please take care of him or I'm going to become the Joker. Please. Please take care of him. Pick him up. Okay, fine. Feed him. Feed him on the floor. Feed him on the, feed him on the floor right now. Feed him on the floor. Feed him on the floor. Thank you. For all things holy. Hi, Space Apples. Hi, Adam Knight. Okay, I'm gonna have her go and change his diaper. What is going on with. <laughs> Dallas is beefing with the butler. You stink. I mean, I think he. Sage was trying to woohoo with him, right? So, I mean, that makes sense. Um, I would be pretty upset as well. Uh, Clem is trying to sleep. Clem, go back upstairs. Go back to bed. Hi, lots of eyeballs. I don't understand this deeper conversations, but... Why does Sage have the neglect moodlet? Because Mocha was needing attention, as she always does. And I wasn't paying attention when I was playing on my own time. And then she was supposed to get taken away, but um, Air Trap prevented that, thank God. So we didn't lose Mocha. Woo! Oh, did they? Oh, he just quit. Okay, well, you weren't doing anything anyway. I don't care. <laughs> the butler was doing jack shit. So whatever, goodbye. 
Goodbye. You quit. You just quit. He wasn't taking care of the kids. Wasn't really repairing anything. So we're chilling. I'm gonna I am gonna hire another butler though. Don't get it twisted. I will I will give the butlers another try. Just just not that one, because he, he he wasn't doing shit for us. Mm -mm. He was not doing anything. I wonder where, how far are we at with this? Oh my gosh, one of her plants that was perfect quality died. So I didn't, I didn't get to finish her aspiration. I planted like a ton of new crops as well. Grapevines. Oh, lightning is loud. Holy. It's Dallas's birthday. Oh, Dallas is turning into an elder today. Okay, we should throw him a surprise. When does he get out of work? He gets out of work at 6 p.m. So we'll throw a birthday party at our house at, um, we'll do like 7 p.m. All right, everyone's going off to school and stuff. I do need a butler because I need to leave the house during the day. I uh, already cancel our butler services. Oh, did we get a new butler? Wait. Oh, we did get a new butler. He's already out back, breaking our leaves. Oopsie. That's my bad. I'm sorry, butler Michael. Michael Pugh. Is he related to Florence Pugh? Uh, okay, we're going to throw a birthday party at our house. No, it's going to be, yeah. And we're going to throw it for 7 p.m. Casual attire. And we're just going to invite, let's invite like Azure and stuff. Is he in here? Azure. And we need to also invite Breeze, wherever he is. Why do we not know Breeze? <laughs> we don't know our own son. Oh, there he is. Okay, Breeze. We'll just invite, like... I mean, do we really need anybody else? We could invite Nina. Because Nina is dating... Jur, as far as I know. Let's see if they're still together. Yes, they're... <gasps> oh my gosh! I forgot that Azure had a baby! We're in Lothario. So cute. I forgot. You had a baby with that random woman from the last town. Um, okay, wait, I need to rethrow that party and I need to sort it differently. We're gonna go throw party and I'm gonna sort it by homeworld. So everyone in town shows up. Homeworld. Let's see. Birthday party, 7 p.m. And we're gonna grab Nina Caliente. Yeah, Spur. Cotton. Breeze Cotton. I called him Cotton. Uh, get Azure. And Casual Attire. Okay, perfect. I don't know much, but dipping dots should be appreciated in the society. It's why I love Maddie. She knows about them. True. True Dolly partner. Hi, Vienna. Love me. Love me a dipping dot. Azure is starting Gen 3, yes. We could have like already been on Gen 3. Wait, did the butler service get canceled or not? Because our butler is still back out here breaking leaves. <laughs> Clem! Why are you not? Why are you two not at school? Oh my gosh, I swear. I swear on my life that they cancel. I don't know why, but Dallas can get their fine. But the the teens like they don't go to school i don't understand they both do it why is the butler like not fire him oh i actually don't want to fire him i actually do want him okay wait um let's quickly go over to the consignment so we're gonna consign all of our fruits and veggies and then i think off screen i got her to level what is that eight yeah she's going to level eight no you're not gonna take what you don't have to take him you don't have to take him why are you taking him we have a butler you don't have to take him hi lr i want sage to find the forbidden fruit seed too before she passes because she's she's getting up there in age guys i have my sims they live for i think it's a 94 sim days total is there a protest going on no, there's just a ton of sims over here. Not the Barnacle Bay Club. This is why I don't like Barnacle Bay. Someone early in the, earlier in the stream asked why I don't like Barnacle Bay. This is it right here. It's just so random. Like, oh my God. Okay. Harass? Please don't harass people. All right, go over to the consign, consignment store for a sim. 
We're gonna consign all of our fruits and veggies. There's there's a ton. There is like so 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 many. I have to go through here. Put all these in there. When they shower, the, the pirate boots grind my gears, and they always show up when they're showering. It's like, why do you do this? The town is nice. It's very reminiscent of Sunset Valley, but like without all the iconic sims like the only iconic sims i feel like they use the caliente sisters as such a selling point for this town because i haven't ever seen advertising for one specific household as much as they did with the barnacle bay like preview pictures on the sims 3 store like it's crazy they're they're like the first picture in like the sliding the sliding gallery so they really use them as a selling as a selling point for this where the hell did that licorice go would you ever do a whole series where you uh do cast makeovers a whole sims group but that would take me so long i am i'm someone that takes my sweet damn time doing makeovers i, I would i would like start and just like never finish there's so many there's so many series that i've started on this channel and then just like never finished like uh the sims the sims one console game I will finish it someday. We never finished The Sims Medieval. We never finished My Sims 2. I don't know when like to call The Sims 2 Strange Town and Pleasant View like done. I said I was gonna do it when all the first gen Sims died, which means Bow Broke basically in Pleasant View. But I don't know. Barnacle Bay people shower with pirate boots on. There's, I think they're categorized incorrectly. So Sims can get them when they are in the shower, yes. Someone at EA did not properly categorize them. Where's Bart? I think he lives in like, what is his last name? Seaworth or something? Is she? Why are you not in school? Oh my, like what is the problem? Why, why don't they go into school? I'm so confused. Why do you also hate your little brother? Stop hating him. Okay, Sage is home. Put your son down there. Or you can put him in the crib. That would be great too. No, put him in put him in the crib. Sage, put him in the crib. Okay, she wants to attend the ceremony. I think she's aging up soon. Yeah, she's aging up to a young adult soon. Oh my god. I can't believe Miss Clem is is old. She's getting old. I hate that the butlers rake the leaves. It's uh not great. I can't believe that they just missed a whole day of school. Like what? Why does this game do this to me? We're gonna go use the composter. Well, no, Sage is, Sage is too, because she's she keeps not taking care of her son. Like I keep telling her to do. She just won't do it. She just won't freaking do it. Give me a phone call. I would answer it, but. Oh my god, we just made six. Sage just made 6,000 simoleons from consigning all of our fruits. Look, we're almost at level nine. Woo! Bring five pomegranates. No, I don't think I will. Um, the party's gonna start soon for Dallas. Dallas's birthday party. She wants to paint. That's cute. Oh, we should invite her boyfriend over for the party. Have her introduce him to her parents. <laughs> See how that goes over. All right, Philip's coming over. What are you doing? How many? She has so many fruits and veggies, but they're not like perfect quality. I know I have to keep replanting them and keep replanting them, but I have to dispose all dead plants too. And these ones are perfect quality. What if I just don't? What if I just don't dispose of them? Does that matter? Oh, wait, I can just leave them. Okay, so if you don't dispose of them, then it doesn't remove them from the perfect garden accomplishment. I probably should have her stop, but... Um, do we have spotlight mushrooms? We do. We have spotlight mushrooms growing. Do we have bell peppers growing? I'm trying to grow all different kinds. We have flame fruits growing. Do we have bell peppers? Any bell peppers? Any bell peppers? Yes, we do. Do we have Kona beans growing? Yes, we do. So what don't we have? I think we have all these things growing. Grapes? Grapes? 
grapes, grapes, grapes. Don't grapes grow on a vine? Okay, I don't think we have any grapes growing, so I can plant those. Move objects on. Azure's talking to his mom, which is rare. Uh, they don't. They don't ever talk. That's very interesting to see. Do you have potatoes? Any potatoes growing? No, no potatoes. Oh, someone made key lime pie. I think it's the butler that made the key lime pie. Wait, grow potatoes too. Okay, I guess not. All right, Dallas. <laughs> Dallas, it's his birthday and he just is not going and attending his party. It's cool. Wow, Clem's going to town on her key lime pie. Someone brought chili con carne. Amazing. And we need to age up Mr. Dallas. We do. Look at everyone chilling out over here. Look at Miss Nina Caliente. Looking stunning. Slay girly. Dallas is senioritis. Yeah, his, uh, him needing to sleep all the time. Very true. Okay, but why are you scooting? Just go plant your damn thing. And then I'm going to go to buy us a cake. And we can age up Mr. Dallas. Nope, you're not gonna you're not gonna go do anything with that bed, okay? And we need to set we need to set this this Murphy bed as the butler's bed, but I can't click on it. I guess we can just give him one of the twin beds. Which reshade is this? This is called Happy Plum Bob by Raceable Dinosaur. All right, go inside. Go in there. You're gonna go blow out your candles. Happy birthday, Dallas! Woo! Put on Sarah. Oh, she's already here. Okay. Watch your dad age up. Come on. Okay. Wait. What is he saying in the top right corner? Black mascara for boys with convention so I can truly express my inner anguish. His room and wardrobe are dominated by midnight black, blood red, in the suffering of a sensitive soul. Is that his bio? What? <laughs> Is that his bio? <laughs> it must be his bio. <laughs> anyway, Dallas is an elder. Blood red in the, suf in the suffering of a sensitive soul in cruel and mundane world. What? <laughs> what? Excuse me? Yeah, Dallas needs a cane now, now that he's an old man. Why do we have to just like this trash? These butlers suck, man. Philip <laughs> squeezing out a mega emo moment right there. <laughs> the Sims are allowed for parties. Yeah, he's an elder now. He's got the university shirt on. I don't know why. I'll keep the grandpa shorts, but the university shirt is gotta go. I like that it shows off his tattoo, his sleeve that we gave him. Yeah, Nina looks just like her Sims 2 self. Thanks to my makeover, EA. The EA makeover sucked. All right, here's his grandpa makeover. Very, very grandpa. Oh, yeah, he's got his little cardigan on. I'm gonna change it to that that little vest. His legs are so so skinny. Uh, his formal attire. Hey, hey. We're actually probably gonna be seeing this if Clem ever gets married. So I need to make sure we do that. All right, there's, look how fast that elder makeover was. Super quick. All right, go upstairs, go to bed. Oh, she wants to kiss Philip. We should kiss him. Can I do romantic? Okay, so what is with me not being able to do romantic? Can Sage do romantic stuff with her husband? Let's see, he needs to stand up, I think, first. Yeah, she can do romantic stuff with her husband. So what is it with? What is it with Clem? Anyone who didn't have a blast clearly doesn't like partying. Not a killer party, but it was solid. Uh, okay. We're gonna ask Philip if he wants to stay over. Is this kid crying again for like the millionth time? Okay, Sage, go pee. Go to the bathroom. My God. Okay, they can't do any romantic stuff. What? Something has to be wrong here. Let's see, let's see. Something in Enroll story progression. Sim options. We're gonna go down to 
romance romance where is it romance 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 allow okay she's allowed for romance let's see if he has any qualifiers who are is slaying is one adult no they're both teens both are teens both are teens yeah romance romance um marriage name no allow partner cast he's a teen though right yeah he's in high school hmm that's weird On options i'm gonna go with my cast options we're gonna go down to teenagers let's see romance allow marriage okay that's fine let's see what does romance allow false we're gonna turn it to true clem does hardly know her father i don't it's really hard in the sims 3 to get like passive relationships because you have to have them um like raise relationships passively like in the sims 4 you know how when they sit down together they're always talking like they talk non-stop in the sims 2 they talk non-stop when they're sitting down but in the sims 3 they really don't talk much when they're sitting down which i kind of like that but it makes it really hard for them to passively gain relationships so that's why she hardly knows her brother is because they don't really ever interact yeah <laughs> same <laughs> Um, all right, let's have Clem go and sleep if she can. I think the baby's crying. Yeah. Let's see. Did that fix anything? No. Can he romantic? He can't do anything romantic with him either. It doesn't even come up. And they're both teens. Hmm. That's interesting. Something's wrong with Philip, I think, then. Something is wrong with Philip. What is wrong with his cast? I don't know. I have no idea. But the only thing I changed was allowing stasis. What if you save and try and add him to the household? I could try that. We do need to save, so that was a good that was a that was a good call. That was a good call. I haven't saved I haven't saved him in a really long time. Under it's I don't know what it could be. I played a couple of days off screen. It was fine. They could, they could do romantic stuff. Um, all right, I'm gonna try and add him to the household and now back out. Wait, let me make sure all these settings are right. What, what, what cast is he in? He's in non-active families, private school, and he's in teenagers. All right, let's check this one. Romance allow is on for that one. Non-active family romance allow there's no romance allow okay private school can is it in here so weird teenagers can have pregnancy allow participation is off romance allow true is on what is the problem what's weird is i could have sworn i saw them autonomously flirt have they been able to do romantic interactions did you give them a makeover i don't remember i think so yeah they did I think they were flirting prior to me giving him a makeover, but why would that change anything? Oh, wait, stasis is the problem? Why is stasis the problem? That's so weird. Okay, okay, stasis is the problem. Stasis is the problem. Okay, wait, that, that just solved it, but the only thing stasis should do is make it so that their motives don't drop that's not what it does okay we're gonna turn stasis off uh is it social that is the problem stasis should just affect needs i thought i just disabled needs okay i guess i can manually go in and just change them all right well, we're gonna turn stasis to or static to true for Bladder, energy, fun, <laughs> hunger, hygiene, and social and temperature. Okay, that's so weird. All right, so let's see if that fixed it. That's so, so, so weird. Yep, there it is. 
Why is static? Why is stasis affecting that? That's so odd. Hmm. I'm wondering which which like toggle in there was screwing it up. Yeah, Reddit. Thank you, Mars. Thank you, Mars. I appreciate it. What the hell? That's so weird. I'm, I'm going to look through these again. It could have been. It could have been um, I, like looking through these. I don't even know what destruction. I don't know what that means. I don't know what I mean. Exercise means that they won't exercise, I guess. I don't I don't know. Uh, Social. No, because social I have on true right now and we can flirt with him and stuff so it's so bizarre hi i hope this is okay to ask can and ross porter be used to move a family to a new, new save yes it can i have a whole video on that if you wanted to check it out um it shows it goes it goes through how to do all that all that fun and ross stuff so you can just look it up on my channel i want to set this to the butler's bed but i can't i think you can't do it with murphy beds which is really weird we're gonna set, oh no, I, it's because I had to unset that one. Okay. Oh, he wants to throw a Clem a birthday party. He wants to see Clem earn an A. She has a B. She needs to attend the ceremony. Oh, she was supposed to. Okay, we have to do it tonight. Um, the documentation for stasis stops all progression action on any member of this household. This option essentially serves as a quick means to disable other options in this set. If you want the sim to have partial stasis, leave this option as false and alter the other individual settings instead. Okay. Stasis works differently than toggling the individual ones is what I gathered from that. Hi, Sassy. Does Porter save the family tree, like including sims that technically no longer exist? No, it doesn't. If you wanted to save the family tree across towns, then you would use NLS Traveler. If you want to just preserve the relationships in the household, then you would use Porter. But I like uh, I like Porter because it like cleanses the town. I feel like because you're basically starting a brand new save. Also, thank you for the hydration. How long am I streaming today? I will stream for three hours. Save. Okay. <laughs> and Ross is and Ross is uh, so layered. There's a lot to it. I've used Traveler a bunch, but it makes my save so clunky. Yeah, it does. That's why I really prefer. Um, I really prefer using Porter because it like starts. It basically starts your save as like a brand new save, which I I, I much prefer that because it helps with lag and stuff. I'm really glad whatever I did, I fixed the, the micro freezes. I know. I don't know why Mocha's always needs social. Does anyone? Is it just like maybe horses social decays much faster? Here as Barnacle Bay's strongest soldier to defend this barren wonderland. <laughs> Wait, what are you guys? What are you two talking about? Oh, since late night came out, as in like over a decade. <laughs> I've been playing. You wait. You've been playing the same family since late night. I didn't read that part of your message. What? How have you been playing the same family for ten years? Has anything happened with Azure? Yes, he had a daughter named Burton with his ex-fiance, and he's currently dating Nina Caliente. Okay, we're gonna wake. I need to get, I think I'm gonna swap out this bed. No no offense, Amber Burgundy, but I think I'm gonna swap out this bed. Wait, she gained a Mocha gained a new trait? Oh, she gained fast. Yay. <clears throat> Let me see. Oh, I'm gonna get you two out of bed. I'm gonna get them a better bed so that Sage's sleep gains quicker oh i'm gonna have these two talk you need to you need to meet him because he's gonna be your son-in-law someday go go say hi to him and then i'm gonna kick you out of there and we're gonna get them the hover bed from the uh reward move objects off we're gonna get them the hover bed from the reward store let's see we're gonna get the where is it at Hover bed, hover bed. I love the hover bed. It gets their stuff up so quick. Here it is, hover bed. My favorite. The 
first time I saw someone use this was Queen way back when she was playing um, when I was like 10 years old when she was playing Generations. 15 Generations starting with Matthew Hamming. Now that is iconic. Starting with Matthew Hamming is just such a power move. Like that is just, it's so me. <laughs> Same Miss Queen, yes. Okay, go say hi to her. I don't know why Sage doesn't listen to me. I tell her to do stuff and she like just like doesn't. <laughs> All right, hi, say hi to him. Today's Evan's birthday, we don't care. We do not care. Sorry, we don't. All right, let's have them chat a little bit, get them, get them to know each other. Matthew Hamming, more like Matthew Hammer me. Okay, that was not, that was not Sly, Morris. They're still the Hammings 15 generations and six towns later. Holy, that is crazy. I was raised on Queen and Andrew Arcade. Surprisingly, I didn't watch much Life Simmer. I don't know why. Um, I obviously knew who she was, but Queen was my fave. I loved Queen. Okay, these two are chatting. Help out. Have time talk. So Clem is gonna age up soon. One day. Oh my God! Today's her last day. And then tonight she has to go to a ceremony. So we have I, chat. Remind me, remind me right now, chat, and I mean it. Remind me when Clem gets out of school to send her to her ceremony. You y'all better remind me. I swear. Okay, wait. Come on, Clem. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm try I'm gonna watch her today. Her ass is going to school. I don't care. You're going to school today, Clem. And you're not gonna cancel the freaking bus on the side of the road like you always do. Why does that happen? Okay, hold on a sec. I feel like time is moving too fast. I might need to quickly take a little detour and get Enros relativity because I feel like time is going way too fast. So I'm gonna quickly install Enros relativity. Enros relativity. Relativity. If you don't know what Enroll Relativity does, it basically allows you to tweak the day and it'll give you more time in your day, um, which will be really helpful because I feel like, like Sage is an elder and I have, I'm nowhere close to completing her lifetime wish. So I feel like we need a little bit more time. I need a little bit more time in my day to get everything done. Also in, I have ch like challenge stuff now that I have to do. So I think we need more time. Okay, I have Enros Relativity. I don't know. I don't know what to set it to, but we're gonna give it a little test run. I'm relaunching my game now. <sighs> the window sound is so loud. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I have my window open too. It's like 9:30 at night. Hi, Rakowski, math girly. You're the math. You're the math king, girly. <laughs> the math king, girly. <laughs> I have no memory how I got into Sims. I just know when I was seven, I asked my mom for Sims 3. For me, it was definitely YouTube. No, it was my brother. I, I, that's a lie. My brother gave me his hand-me-down PlayStation 2 and he had The Sims on PlayStation 2. And that was like, that was it for me. That's when I got started because it was my brother's disc. It was my brother's PlayStation. So then my mom bought me, she wouldn't buy me Generations because there is a bachelorette party on the cover of the game. And she was like, I'm not going to buy this for you because, you know, I'm going to delete some of these. Look how many saves I have. Holy, I need to get rid of some of these. This is way too many. This is way too many. It just every single time and raw saver happens, it adds a number at the beginning. I almost just deleted this one. That would have been bad. I was say, girl, shh, shh. <laughs> This is a recent development and believe me, it gives me, it gives me like, it gives me anxiety having that many saves on my scroll list. Okay, Rakowski, I don't want to hear it. This is a recent development. This is not something normal. This does not happen a lot. <laughs> this is a rare occurrence. He's telling my mom that my sims never woohooed. They just adopt them babies. <laughs> I surprisingly first got into sims because, because I as Cupquake 
She was she was a a big YouTuber back in the day too, back then. I don't also don't like having a lot of saves. I wish you could folder them. I don't like how it leaves like a uh, backup in your in your saves folder still. Even if you delete it out of your game, it still leaves it in like the saves folder. It's really annoying. My mom was like, Maddie, the bow is so cute today. I'm like, I know. And she's like, but they can't see it. And I'm like, what do you want me to do? Put a camera behind my head? <laughs> you guys want a camera behind my head? Okay. Uh, let's tweak Enroth's relativity. I'm, I don't, I haven't used this mod in so long. I don't remember the best settings. So Maddie bow cam. I'm going to go to Sarah Sims because she has really good Enroth settings. Shout out Sarah Sims. Does she use relative? Yes, yeah, she does. Let's see what she sets it to. Let's see. What does she set her Enros to? Um, motive decay factors. She tweaks these a little bit. Motive decay. This setting together with energy settings above should help Sims have a natural sleeping pattern, i.e. they should feel tired around 11 p.m. and wake up around 6 set speed 10 normal game speed is 37 engine ticks per minute setting this at 10 is roughly a quarter of the normal game speed which makes sim days last four times as long that's a long time it's going from 37 to 10 that is a long time holy i don't know if i'm gonna do 10 but like set speed uh what do you guys set your nr solitivity to probably it should probably be five no five would make it even longer 19 is 50 percent i put nr solitivity do not set the speed to 10 i think i'm gonna do 19 19 seems good i do 17 19 seems good i think like 25, 25 would give us a little bit more time because you have to realize when you do this, if you set this up yourself, because I'm tweaking this, it's going to give us more time in the day. But as it is right now, I don't think it will tweak how fast or slow Sims lose or gain motives. Do you know what I mean? So these motive decay factors are what you would now need to change. That's why Sarah Sims has separate settings in here. So she sets she sets her stuff so that bladders decay slower energy decays would that be slower or faster i can't i don't i, I can't tell i don't know like what is the 1.30 like I, I don't know but anyway i just want like a little bit of extra time and i also don't want to have to go in here and change every single one of these um because i think the if you put them over one that means that they gain faster or they I, I don't know. I forget how this works. 1.3 means the bladder will decay 30% faster. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this is this is uh where Enroll starts becoming annoying to set up. So I'm gonna just leave it as it is. I wish there was a a way that it would curve it automatically. 1.1 is 10% faster, not 0.9 would be 10% slower. I have to adjust that. Um, I have to adjust that on my own time, just like seeing. Because they're going to gain motives at not a great p pace now. Or they're going to lose their motives. Like, because I set my. What did I put it to? I put it to 25, right? So that's like a little bit extra more. Mocha, girl, every time I turn around, you need, you need interaction. Do I have to get Mocha another horse? Yeah, they keep canceling the freaking thing. The the, the taxi. It's so annoying. Or the bus. It said you are at 56% speed. Okay. Kiss Dallas. That's cute. Oh. Brought the baby out. Who's that? Get a donkey. Gonna just take care of the horse. Aren't you supposed to be at work? Is everyone just skipping work in school today? Is that what's happening? Okay, Mocha's fine. No, her her freaking social doesn't gain quick enough. You stink. Let me guess, they're not in school. Yep. 
How did I know? I have to like babysit them and like watch them go into school. I love Mocha, but like she just loses social so much that it's becoming <laughs> kind of annoying to take care of her. Oh, and Sage is watering her crops, which I didn't tell her to do. I read the setting the school law after. I don't know if it's the school lot or what. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Mocha for real, gotta go. I like Mocha, but like, what the hell? Every every single time I Gorkle. turn around, it's just. It might be the more routes mod that you have. Which one? Is it the more school entrances? Is that the one that is screwing it up? I know. I I think I know which one you're talking about. I think it's the more school entrances. I hate that the gardener rakes the leaves because it's such a waste of time in my opinion. Raking leaves in real life is kind of a waste of time to me. Maybe you can adjust their lifespan instead if you need... Yeah, that's true, as I could do that. I think it might be that mod choice, you might be right. But I've never had a problem with it is the thing, that's why I'm... Yeah. Maybe Mocha has a trait that put- oh, is that true? Playful... Let's see, is playful it? No. Genius? No. Agile? No. Fast? No. I don't think- I don't think it's a trait. I think it might just be horses. I have that and my sons are doing the same thing until I removed it. Okay, I might have to take that out then because it's really annoying that they keep canceling. I have to like babysit them until they get to school. Um, okay, we need to plant another apple tree. I'm trying to plant like different types of trees. So we're gonna plant an apple tree when this one gets removed. It gets removed objects on. In order to plant in here, I don't know why. I saw that there's a gardener mod for The Sims 3, but how does harvesting work? Like, do we know how that works with harvesting? Why are you crying? I don't understand. Let me guess, Mocha's social is getting low again. Yep, yeah, kind of close. Sage is an elder. Yeah, she up last stream, I think. I think that's when that was. Oh, they put it in your fridge? That's sick. Oh, she's crying over dead plants. Is that it? I'm gonna use the composter. Do we have lettuce growing? I, I have to... This is why I was saying... Doing this, like, kind of annoying stuff. Um, like, I have to literally zoom in super close and see what we have planted and what we don't. Because we have to have eight different kinds of species of plants. So, as you can tell, this is kind of a demanding lifetime wish to do. I haven't ever done this one because it is kind of annoying. Hi, Chloe. All right, we're going to head over to the consignment store. It's only 1.30. I feel like normally it'd be much later in game. The The relativity mod's already kicking in, I think. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to go over to land grab consignment. Do I have Dragon Valley? I don't. Um, I saw that comment. Someone left the comment a couple weeks ago about the Dragon Valley uh, dragons. They have a harvesting one. Um, I don't have Dragon Valley. She does want to have a baby. I'm going to have her get a plant some baby, but I don't know if it completes a lifetime wish. What are our goals for this world? I didn't show that, did I? Let's see. Do I have the rules linked in chat? I don't think I do. Then let me, let me, let me grab the, the rules. Oh, I'm having a field trip. <laughs> they probably won't be going to that because they're going to miss school. Um, all right, we're going to go store world legacy rules. Okay, so we have to master the fishing skill, reach level 10 in the lifeguard career, complete the aspiration, eat the pirate ship, travel abroad at least once, buy a boat, reach level at least level three with a celebrity, and be romantically involved with three sims at the same time. So Clem's gonna be a little messy. Clem's gonna be a little messy. Hi, Debbie. Mm. Mm-mm. <clears throat> I thought her inventory what is that wait why does she have like why does she have like waves coming out of her head hold on hold on a sec 
What is that? Is that her cell phone? Her breath is stinky? Wait, why is her breath stinky? What does she eat? Hold on a sec. I need to see what she ate. I'm gonna consign this pirate chest yeah, that my son freaking stole. Why are they why are they radio waves? Like why does stinky breath equate to radio waves in this game? I don't understand. I don't get it. Was it pepper? Oh, it could have been pepper or garlic. Hold on. Um coffee breath. Oh, she ate a coffee bean. Okay, that's why. All right, let's have Sage. We're gonna have her run over to the, what's it called? Stone Store Greenhouse. She's like super energized now. Grab the picture on the design table, it's free. <laughs> I can't grab it. <laughs> it's not done, I, I think. If you guys don't eat coffee beans, you'll have radio waves coming out of you. I mean, look, it looks like radio waves. This game is so weird. I was playing Sims 2 Pleasant View off camera and Dustin had a wish to become a werewolf. It was so weird. <clears throat> the prom pictures was the scariest part. That was so scary. That was literally her dad in that prom, prom photo. I've never had a Sim become I hate these. Please stop. <laughs> Can I tell her to stop dancing? Um, okay, what do we need to have her do? So I was gonna have her look for a... I forget what the seed is called. Do, do we remember? I, I haven't played Sims University in so long since we did the, the plant the plant sim stuff. What is it? Is it, a, is it a rare seed that we need? I think it's a rare seed, right? Or is it a special seed to get a plant sim baby? Yeah, there was like 45,000 seed spawners. That was scary. Where's the seed in here? It's like somewhere in this bush. Oh, it's right here. I'm just gonna pick them all up. Is it special? Okay. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it's special. I can't remember. I thought it was special or you were sl you slice it. Forbidden. Wait, do you have do you have to slice it? Oh, you have to splice it. I forgot that part. No, I don't want to splice it. That's going to take so long for her to get her science skill up. No. Oh, that sucks. Am I going to have to buy her the science machine? Is that what's going to? Yeah, I remember. I remember it's coming back to me now when we can I just move this leaf pile, please. I remember when I did it with Clement. Um, I just realized I used the name Clementine twice. No, that was Meadow. Sorry, my names are getting all messed up. <laughs> I have a, I had a sim back in Sims University when I played the uh, Legacy Challenge on my channel, and her name was Meadow, and she did the science skill. And I remember it taking so freaking long. Like it, it took so long to get this to work. So, <laughs> guess we're starting it now. Yay! To transform an existing sim into a plant sim, eat a forbidden fruit. No, she wants to grow a forbidden fruit. She wants to grow one. You can grow them. You have to plant them, I think. Oh, there is an empty room upstairs. I forgot about that. I think you can... Um, I think you can grow them, right? You don't need the... You don't have to splice it. Wait, wait. No, you don't have to splice it, right? If you grow it, correct? Someone in, someone in chat, please correct me. You have to plant them. Sage had a forbidden fruit seed a while ago. You have to splice it to get the fruit. But I, wait, do, I'm, I'm gonna look this up on Carl Sims Guide. Carl Sims Guide has the answers that I need. Siri, thank you. I appreciate it. Series 016 just subscribed. Siri just said you're welcome. She thought I was talking to her. <laughs> My phone thought I was talking to her. Forbidden fruit seed Sims 3. Let's look this up. Carl Sims always has the answers that I require. All right. Carl Sims, what is the what is the answer here? Getting forbidden fruit is produced by Science Skill and University Life. You can produce the seeds without even gaining a level as long as you have the science uh, blah, 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 blah. Any seed you find can be transformed into a forbidden fruit seed using the gene splicing. Planting a forbidden fruit seed 
um requires level seven gardening the game is currently buggy of course it's a sensory of course it's buggy when fully developed a forbidden fruit plant should have a 50 50 shot of giving you a plant and baby or a forbidden fruit instead of choosing harvest result in a baby 100 percent of the time unless your sims household is full okay then i always got plant babies and you can produce seeds without even gaining a level so long as you have a scientific research station available you can produce seeds any seed you find will be transformed into a forbidden fruit seed using the gene splicing experiment this will attempt to mix sim dna with a seed i thought you can just find them in the world though am i wrong about that I swear you can just find them in the world. That's how I did it, I thought. My, my, I could be misremembering, but you can. I thought you could. I swear that's how I did it. I, I remember using, I remember using the science machine, but I didn't think it was related to that. Now I'm, now I'm confusing myself. I don't know what it's uh, called in English, but there's an interaction you can transform. Yeah, it's the uh, gene splicing. So that's going to suck getting that done. Just have Drew do the science and then Sage can Oh yeah, I guess that's true. I can just have him He's he's the he's the spare anyway, so he'll just Cuz Sage needs to work on her lifetime wish. So yeah, we will uh we will uh figure that out. But she didn't pick up anything good. She got a chili seed, a watermelon seed, and a fruit seed from the ones I just picked up from the greenhouse lot. So that sucked. I'm keeping like a hawk's eye on these. Watching them like a hawk because I need perfect plants. The greenhouse is really cute. It is, but it's buggy because I have to use move objects to plant everything and it's kind of annoying. Okay, our butler made some hot dogs. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Clem wants to learn the science skill. She's stinking though. All right, Dallas earned some money. You don't need to eat, you're fine. You need to go shower. Oh, I can't. Okay, he's just gonna spam the science skill. Can I just have him learn it indefinitely? This is gonna do it till 6 p.m. or 3. What does that say? 8 p.m. All right, Sage, you're fine. Go and get the seeds outside. I'm gonna have Clem listen to a fishing tab cast. It sounds like it might be only way to get seed might be through splicing or trying for a baby with a plant sim. Well, someone said we could just have we can just have Drew splice it. Add a seed to his inventory. See if he can do the experiment. Okay. I don't think he has any. Um. Wait, can it be? It can be any seed, right? I don't think it matters. I think he needs more science skill. That's what it said. Oh, gene splicing. Okay. Watermelon seed. Are we near the end of stream? No, we still have a little bit of time left. All right, let's see. Get me the forbidden fruit seed. She wants to. She's trying to nap in Clem's bed. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> You're drinking vodka and watching me interesting thank you welcome oh it left the seed unaltered okay i think we can just wait i'm just gonna have i'm just gonna give him all the seeds and just have him spam it for the rest of the night keep gene splicing here we go here we go here we go here we go it said specifically they didn't need the skill right yes i have reading comprehension problems so <laughs> you are correct no chat 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 what did i say come on chat i told you i told you to remind me come on guys <laughs> come on i was relying on you guys to remind me <sighs> that's on you guys clem mr ceremony damn you guys <laughs> it's okay it's okay oh baby's aging up we do not care we do not care it's it's fine i'm not gonna go back i'm not gonna save scum because i just don't feel like it oh he got crushed by the murphy bed it's okay we she doesn't need to go to her ceremony it it, it 
It really doesn't matter. Oh, he's a workaholic. <laughs> he's like a workaholic 10 year old. <laughs> Oopsie. That's, that's not good. That's not good. You guys, you guys dropped the ball on that one, yeah. I'm blaming you guys. <laughs> oh, the water balance he was destroyed. Save? Alright, we'll save right now. All that hubbub just to say it doesn't matter. I mean, it, it doesn't really, but I asked you guys to remind me, come on. It's nice to know that everyone else in chat has just as bad of a memory as me. I joined after d and I was not a part of this. Okay, let's see if he gets it this time around. Just a minor setback. Oh, oh, he got it, he got it, he got it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, he got it, nice. All right, Sage, go plant your plant sim seed time thing. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to say. Uh, move objects on. We're gonna go plant it in our little greenhouse. Plants in baby time. The spare was useful. He was. He was useful. Listen. Oh, wait. You can clean those up. I didn't mean to do that. All right. She planted it. Uh, we're going to grab these. And we are going to open the composter. We're going to fertilize everything. And then we're going to harvest everything we can. I just realized I've been getting the forbidden fruit seeds and life fruit. Oh yeah, they are very different. They are very different. She's dying because her she's crying because her plants died. What is she what is she throwing out? Shoot, I should have paid attention so I can replant it. Shoot. Okay, wait, go identify that. Can't green thumb sims revive dead plants? Wait, can they? Is she green thumb? She is a green thumb, but with enough gardening skill, you're sin- Wait, she can revive them. How come I can't do it? She's gardening skill level 10. Why can't she revive? I'm so confused. That's a good point. I have no idea. That is a really good point. It's not coming up. Is, do I have to do something special? I wonder. It's kind of cute though that every time a, a a plant dies, she she cries. It is cute. I feel bad that she's crying, but it's nice to know that she cares about her plants that much, you know. All right, Sage, time for bed. I'm gonna go sleep. This butler's just out here grinding. I wonder if the forbidden fruit will count as a perfect quality plant. I think it's because you, because it, it reached the end of life, you can't, but if it dies from neglect, you can. Oh, okay. Well, that's not very helpful. That's not a very helpful little feature with that. All right. Oh, they're going to wake up at, uh, <laughs> that's bad. I'm gonna have them sleep in. They're they're waking up early because of the what's it called mod, the um relativity mod. They should be able to anyway, I know. Stupid. Have them go. Oh, are they bad? Yeah, they're bad. What a cute grandma. Sage is a cute grandma. What where did you just he put it in his trash in his bedroom? I think you can only revive them. Oh, with a death flower? Do we have a death flower? I can probably get one. I didn't know that. You guys are teaching me. There's like the gardening in this game is actually really detailed. More so than I ever thought. I had no idea that the gardening in this game was so detailed. There's a death flower on one of the public lots here. Yeah, they always appear on the, the greenhouse lot, so... Right, having sage harvest everything. Oh, and another one died. Okay, so the flame fruit. It's always so hard for me to say. The flame fruit. Oh, wait, we have more. Okay, I'll just dispose of that. Flame fruit died. Oh, 
Locust like out here running. Wow, she actually doesn't need social interaction for once? Crazy. I'm learning more and more. I know, I'm learning so much from you guys and like teaching me things and whatever. I didn't know that there was like so much to gardening. Oh, it's Clem's birthday today! Today's Clem's birthday! We have to definitely throw her a birthday party. A hundred percent. Oh! <laughs> the horse blur is so funny. <laughs> I love that. Um. Wow, the, the harvesting just keeps going on and on and on and on and on. The horse pixels. They hate each other. They absolutely hate each other. <laughs> Man, Dallas is trying to tell his son a mastermind plot. Oh my god. Wait, can I call? We need to call a repair technician because this house is like everything is broken, I swear. Um, we also need to get a computer. I wanted to sign uh, Drew up for after school activity because he wanted to join one, so. Let's see, can I have you sign your brother up for one? You have the laptop. I can't. I'm gonna just drag it to his inventory then. Sign up for after school activity. He can do shop club. I don't know. He seems like a shop club kind of guy, you know? Oh my god, now they're on fire. I hate this. Deeper conversations. Stop. Deeper conversations. Stop. Why do you do this to me? Just go to school. It's so annoying. Did you join shop club? No, he didn't. It always sets them on fire. So stupid. Clem eventually having three lovers is actually crazy. She... Wait, I don't know how I'm gonna like finesse that into a storyline. I do... I, want, I definitely want to do it. Um... Oh, the, the, what's it called is here? Fire department again. Fire department's here again. What's with the fire? It was deeper conversations. It's one of those deeper conversations prompts. All right, let's see. Where does, where in the road is it going to cut them off from getting to the, from getting to school? Let's see. Let's see if they make it all the way this time. Will they make it? Oh, 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 they made it. Wow, look at that. They made it with the school bus all the way to school. For once. It didn't like cut them off like it always does. Maybe I have to like babysit them until they get to school, which I'm fine with. Now that we have Enros Relativity, we have more time to do things. Um, okay. All right, everyone's home alone. All right, I guess these two are home alone. I'm trying to have her do stuff in the day. Oh my god, stop clipping into him! Just grab some stupid waffles, jeez. Right, grab those, go take a shower, and then we need to actually don't, don't, take, don't take a shower because her hygiene's just gonna go back down. I think I'm gonna send her over to the gardening lot. Actually, no, go pick that up quick, 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 quick. It's gonna fade soon, I think. These sun, these sunlight shards, huh? Not that soon. Maybe there's a storyline for her having multiple lovers. Maybe she starts to be to love being seen as the hottest person in town and comes out of her shell. Let's see. Later, I was searching for a mod or tutorial that would help me remove unwanted wants. Have you ever come across those? I feel like there's. I feel like you could do that with Enros, maybe somehow. Okay, there's that. I'm gonna water now. And then we need to go harvest. I know that there's within Dragon Valley, people keep telling me that there's a dragon you can get that will harvest everything for you. Okay, she's still awesome. Guys, she has three out of eight. The flame fruit bush is uh, one of our perfect quality ones. Horrifying quality, why? Why is the forbidden fruit horrifying quality? I never talked to it. She can get a lover on vacation in France. Which mod do you use that allows the want to be granted if they haven't promised it? I think it's just a part of Enros, I think. I don't think it's a um, mod. I think it's just a part of Enros Master Controller. Maybe even Cheats module or something. But definitely a part of Enros. Oh my gosh, there's so many like opportunities coming up. All right, she's stinky. I'm gonna have her go take a shower. And then I'm gonna even 
week. Oh, Enroll Streamer. You might you might be right. It might be Enroll Streamer. Um, oh, she got a service award for her gardening, by the way. That was how also happened when I was just playing off camera. I'm going to tweak Enroll Solativity even more. I'm going to set it to 20 because I want even more time in my day. So we're running at point. 5 4 times normal speed. Okay. All right. So there's that. And we're going to send her over to the consignment store. Oh my gosh, look at the stone store greenhouse. This is too tempting. This is too tempting. I need to I need to come over here and um do the grab grab all these seeds over here cuz there's so many. I'm just so tempted. I'm, I, we need to get different species of plants, so I definitely need to collect all these. Just gonna pick them all up. Definitely had to remove some of the spawners because there was way too many. But, you know, I actually, I actually really like this lot. I don't think there's any spawners on other lots in town. All right, go grab everything. Just got all those. And then we can have her identify them when she gets home. I'm gonna have her grab some, some more of these sunlit shards. Grab those. We can grab three of them. That's good. Have her quickly run over to the consignment store before it closes to sell everything per usual. I swear we're making bang on the consignment store. We get like 3k a day if I have her go every day. It's crazy. Wait, who is this? Alice. I don't know her, but she's pregs. Anyone here I know? Agnes. I feel like we haven't really interacted much. Oh, this is Nina and Dina's roommates. I don't know if she lives with them anymore, but her name is Luisa Libros. Oh, Nina, Nina, is, or Dina is here. Look. Oh, she gained weight. I have a, I have a baby weight pregnant. Uh, after your sons get pregnant, they gain weight. And it looks like that Dina gained a little bit of weight. Unless she's pregnant. Wait, she could be pregnant again. She might be pregnant again, actually. I think. Does she have a little bump, or is that? Am I just imagining, imagine, imagining things? Can you say which expansions you have installed at the moment? I actually have it on the post where i advertise the house that i'm using um so i will quickly pull that up for you you can just pause the stream while well, i'm still I'm grabbing it her outfit is giving wait why are you not come on i'm trying to, i'm trying to have you sell uh here is all the packs i'm using so you can just pause the pause the stream and, and take a look but yeah Mm -hmm. Wipe that clean immediately. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's sell all these. I love that we're actually able to make it to the consignment store. I just wish that I had done the Enros Relativity stuff earlier in this series because I feel like I've lost so much time with Sage now. Like we, lo we lost the basically Sage's whole life. I was living on like speed three and we got nothing done and I feel bad about it, but at least we have it for Clem, right? So Clem will have more time to to get her stuff done. I can sign all that. I don't have anything else in my inventory. Nope. I'm going to plant this cor cortado, cortano bean. I think that's a coffee seed. Who's she? Her name is Bunny Shore. That's a cute name, Bunny. Oh, she's giving some flowers to this guy. <gasps> oh, that's awkward. She just got rejected. Her outfit's cute, though. A little striped shirt with a car on it. Oh, Clem's birthday. Thank you, Debbie. See, you guys remind me of, of that, but you can't remind me it's Clem's ceremony. Yes, we're definitely going to throw Clem a birthday. A little birthday party. I hope that the... the um, growing a forbidden fruit seed counts as having a child, right? <laughs> oh, by the way, she has a ceremony. Yeah, thanks, Sam Burgundy. Thanks so much. Really, really appreciate it. And <laughs> making me feel so guilty. No, I don't. I don't really care. It's just a ceremony. But uh, all right, we're gonna go. We're gonna throw a party again. Two parties in a row. Let's go. We're gonna invite all of our family members. The party. I will save too. Just give me a second. Right, we can we can start at six. That's fine. We're gonna invite Nina Caliente. Who's friends with Nina? Oh, Sage is friends with Nina. That's cool because that's her son's girlfriend. All right, we're gonna invite Breeze. We are going to invite. Where is he at? Sure. 
Thank you for the hydration too. I haven't taken a sip of water in a while. And we will also invite Philip. What is his last name? Annan. Philip Annan. Okay. So that's everyone we're going to invite. I don't think... Oh, Nina. Right. Let's invite Nina. Did her last name change? Wait, did Breeze get... Or did uh, Azure get married? No way her name is Nina Lothario now. No. I'm going to gag if they got married and I didn't notice. Wait, where is she? Did I miss her name in Caliente? Did I miss it? It's not here. C-A. She should be right... Oh! <gasps> <laughs> on the guest list. She was the first one I added. I'm so slow. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so slow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Don't scold him. No, don't scold. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'm gonna have her go make a birthday cake. <laughs> you need to go take a shower. You're singed for no reason at all. Um, and you're also singed, so go take a shower. Ask Butler to cook. It's okay, we saw nothing. Yeah, you guys saw nothing. Oh, the butler's cooking. Look at that. Putting in work. Sage has a cooking skill now, too. Ooh. And look at that. Mo the mushrooms sell for so much money. Let me guess, Mocha needs social. Oh, look at that. Mocha does need social again. For the millionth time, Mocha needs social. Are we shocked? We shouldn't be. Oh, look at the birthday cake. Good job, Sage. Clean that up. People should be arriving soon for the party, I think. They made key lime pie. Wait, wait, wait. Everyone's not hungry. Breeze is here. Phillips here. Juliet. Who the hell are you? Juliet Verona. That's that's supposed to be a play on uh, freaking Romeo and Juliet. We should have gotten a cat, I know. How do we both end up in Barnacle Bay for our LPs? Well, mine was my my rule. The rules said I had to, but um, with my other with my other challenge, I was doing not so berry. And my chat wanted to troll me, so they voted for Barnacle Bay. So I don't know if it was the same for you, Rakowski, but <laughs> Rack just got unlucky. Oh, did you roll, Rack? Did you roll on like a wheel or something? Oh, you you spun a wheel. Oh my god. TJ put it in as a as a troll move. Ooh, Nina is serving body. Wait, did Nina have a baby? I think she gained some weight too. I love that baby weight gain mod. No, she hasn't had a baby. But dude, Dina had three kids and she looks amazing still. I love Abalooza Plains. I love like the small town vibes. It's so cute. All right. Don't listen to the story. Um, okay, we're gonna wait. She wants to kiss him. So let's just have her get a little quick smooch. Don't listen to the story. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Stop listening to the story. Oh, what, who are you scaring, Nina? 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 Who are you scaring? Is it Julia Verona? Don't do her dirty. Oh, she, she gave up. She's like, I don't want to. All right, let's have Clem blow out her candles. It's her birthday time. Oh my gosh, not them trying for a baby like in the middle of her birthday. <laughs> don't do that. Don't scare me like that. I'll just cancel it out. All right, let's get a quick picture of her. So cute. Her and her little birthday cake. Happy birthday, Clem. He's so cute. I've been playing more of my least favorite worlds and now I'm learning to like them. Animals and Planes has such cute fall vibes. That's why I like it. Why are you laughing at her? Why are you laughing at your sister? Her hair is pretty, isn't it? It's new. I just downloaded it. Happy birthday, Clem. 
So cute. I'm so happy our air is growing up. I can't believe it. Yay. It's cross-eyed, of course. Per usual. Now she's not. She's good now. She'll she'll be cross-eyed when she grows up to an adult. Don't worry guys. They always are. Oh, she got workaholic. Well, that's not gonna happen. Her hair is cute. Her outfit is so cute. Look at her. Wait, she's actually slaying? Actually slaying the... Oh, look at that look. She's like, I'm ready to take on this legacy, Maddie. The hair has to go, but she's girl bossing it. It is, it is a cute hair, but I have other hairs. <laughs> Okay, so with that said, we have to give her her final trait that she will get. So what do we got? What do we got? Her final trait has got to be... Is it commitment issues? Is that the one we're missing? Um, what does her lifetime wish have to be? It has to be presenting the perfect aquarium or seaside survivor. Should we do... Should we do lifeguarding or should we do... I mean, I feel like she wasn't really into life... I didn't get like lifeguard vibes from Clem, so I think we I think we do the aquarium one. She's like she grew up like being nerdy and stuff like that. I can't see I can't really see the lifeguard stuff. Aquarium is more passive, it will be easier in the Sims 3 open world. The aquarium one is hard. Is it hard? I, I've never I've never played with it. Okay, so I guess we're gonna do the aquarium. I have done I have done the seaside survivor one. Um I have done that one, so I guess we'll, I mean, it's like the first one that pops up here. And we need to change her last trait. I'm going to wait till she gets out of her happy birthday thing. We can just send her fishing. We'll take care of the rest of the family. And learn if Ram goes, goes, hard, uh, goes hand in hand. To get a perfect fish of different species, ridiculously hard. Oh god. I always need to Google which bait to use. Oh, am I going to be using Carl's, Carl's guides, Carl Sims guides this whole time? All right, so we have to change her last trait. And then I wanted to also change her look a little bit. Now that she's like an adult, we can kind of change up her look. Yeah, spreadsheet time. Okay, so here's Miss Clem, our heir. The one trait she's missing is commit issues. That's the last one that she needs. So we'll quickly give that to her. And then let's do a little, let's do a little Maddie makeover, a little Maddie Clem makeover. I think I want to keep her hair the same. I really like this one. I think it's really cute. It's very flattering on her. Maybe change the dress because she had that when she was a teen. I know we just put it on her. I know we just put it on her. But, oh, that is such a sleigh. That is so cute. I'm not going to give it to her, but it's cute. She looks good in anything. She looks good in anything, really. I think I want to give her more of a, like a winter oh are you kidding me this is so cute this is so clem are you shitting me this is so cute oh that's so cute that is so cute on her her color palette is like so warm and it's like neutrals it's so it's so cozy so cute oh i'm dead i'm gonna give her some hoops autumn yeah she's got like full autumn vibes also she looks better with silver jewelry noted i see clem wearing longer skirts i do too but um she's got her she's got her leggings on her tights so let me see what else what other leggings do i have these ones are kind of cute i feel like i use them really often though oh the knee highs could be cute too no i'm gonna give her i'm just gonna give her the pantyhose she looks exactly like a friend of mine. Smart. Well, tell, tell your friend she's stunning. Let's see. I can't see Clem as like a like a really fancy dress kind of girl. I think she'd be very... I think she'd cover her... Or she might wear something like this, maybe. I don't know. It might depend. I, I don't see her as wearing something very revealing. Um, maybe something like with a high neckline. Yeah, she gives modest vibes for sure. Like, this is not Clem. This is not Clem. Pirate boots for the cag. 
I can't. Not the. This is a Barnacle Bay outfit. This is. People are like, Maddie, why, why do you hate Barnacle Bay? Uh, because it adds these monstrosities in my cast catalog. That's why. Let's see. What do we got for Miss Clem? Her having three lovers seems so out of. It does seem so out of character. It does. I Heike want to like push that to another person like that wish because I don't see I don't see Clem as that but I, I shouldn't skip like rules and like you know stuff like that because I want to I want to stick to the rules of the challenge as as much as possible I wish you could not you can install Barnacle Bay but not the cast same Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this because it's cute on her. I don't know. I'm just I'm just combing through my catalog. I, like I said, I don't see her as oh her her hair thing got That's stuck. Here. Her hair thing got stuck. She could so be si just be saw. silent but deadly. I don't know if that's how people will use that saying. <laughs> Pre oh my god. Susel. Honestly, what if the emo boy goes off to pursue his music career and they reunite later? That'd be cute. That would be cute. Dag dag. Dag dag. Nushki Zanzi. That's fine. Dag dag. Oh, wow. See, this is what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about, everyone. The pirate boots in the swimmer catalog. This is what we're talking about. Nushki Zanzi. The freaking pirate boots of it all. Okay, so here's Clem. That's our little Clem makeover. So cute. I actually really like this outfit on her. I think it's so cozy and like fall. What the hell is that outfit? I don't I just I just clicked through it. Sizzle. This one? Whatever. Sizzle. Do you have any clothing CC recs? If you scroll through my Tumblr, I have like thousands upon thousands of pages of CC reblogged and organized for you. So highly recommend. If you type exclamation point Tumblr, it'll come up. Um yeah. Why are you sabotaging this? You're being weird, Sage. Stop. Stop it. Yeah, she's eating cake outside with the spoiled food. Hi, living, little living bitch. <laughs> Rack, you need to you need to take a perusal on my on my CC blog, I think. Oh, she's eating with the butler. That's something, right? Who's still cheering when she isn't even here? We need to age up Philip is what we need to do. Should we age up Philip? I'm gonna age him up. Trigger age transition. I'm just gonna age up right on the spot. Who the F is Philip? That's her boyfriend. Her emo boyfriends. Her emo boy. <laughs> Oh, you're watching from France? It's 4 a.m. Go to bed. <laughs> Who are these people talking to? Okay, here's Philip as an adult. Um, he needs some arm hair. Well, let's. I mean, I guess like all the emo bands, like none of the front men, like Brendan Yuri, they don't have any body hair at all. Like that's like the like the style of like emo boy bands is they don't have any body hair but i'm sorry i just can't he needs something he needs something give him like a little happy trail that's good that's good enough for me he's he's cute he's cute <laughs> they're hairless <laughs> like those cats he is cute no he's cute this is like the closest i've ever come to liking a, a emo sim um, besides Lilith, of course, because I love my Lilith Pleasant, but I tend to not like the ones that EA makes because I just don't find them fun to play. Like VJ Alvi, I hate him because he's like really mean, I'm pretty sure. He's really, really mean. Okay. Uh, what do you, we have to do some stuff with you cl now, Clem. It's your, it's your, oh, uh, who, are, who are you trying to be friends with? Is it, who are you trying to be friends with? I mean, I guess it's Nina. So, oh, it's the little kid. The little, little kid. That's, that would be your aunt. Because she's dating your brother. I don't know if they're still dating. Whose phone is ringing incessantly? My God, that's annoying. All right, we're going to have her listen to a fishing tap cast. 
and have her come down here and dude we just kind of have to go off like we just have to kind of go off with fishing you know oh time to save good idea the rogue thank you thank you good idea vj is more punk emo is hard to actually find an ea pre mains oh is it have your oh elspeth isn't elspeth kind of mean too i remember one of her sims dated her in the late night leprosy I, I i remember that it was one of the teens because she starts off as a teen it must oh my god this is why i hate barnacle bay no ea did not he, do you see his name louis charlie darwin like charles dar like ea come on get, get it pack it up <laughs> pack it up that is not funny <laughs> Ooh. pack it up oh he said he works at the um okay wait i need to change that <laughs> he works at the culinary building but uh that doesn't make sense because he's like an emo punk boy he should be working as a as a in the music career right music there we go all right now he's a fan in the music career someday he'll be a he'll be a, a punk rock type person is a halloween <laughs> no that's just this town that's literally just this town all right she's fishing just gonna literally have her stand out here this is gonna be a grind by the way like a huge freaking grind getting this done is gonna be crazy hard oh wait that's such a cute photo put it back down put it back down oh her face is like she's kind of giving a stink face why is this so dark sometimes i feel like my reshade is too bright like you guys are like maddie your reshade's so bright but then look how dark it like look how dark this scene is feels like feels like it goes from being super bright to being like not bright enough does anyone else feel like that maybe i need to add some contrast I, I, I just don't know what the problem is is it because look how much i can brighten it right but then we'll go back to the house where it's like actually well lit and then it will be like way too bright like in the house it'll probably be way too bright now um it's not too bad that's not too bad okay i'm gonna keep my reshade like that Oh, we need to buy her a boat. We have to buy her a boat, right? That was one of the things. We have a ton of money, so I might do that. I kind of want her and Philip. I mean, I guess we're, I guess we haven't finished doing our, what we need to do, like with Sage. <laughs> I like how I'm moving on to Clem when we haven't even finished Sage's stuff. Um, we have to finish that first. And then how am I going to buy a boat? Hmm. You have to buy like a trailer, right? I forget how you do it. I haven't bought a boat in so long. Even when I played Island Paradise, I didn't really use the boat. I think you buy a trailer and then you can put the boat on the trailer. Is that right? Like this? Yes, that's right. Okay, so, I mean, she's not really going to be using it because evidently there's no water in this world really for us to sail on. But hey, she'll at least have completed the single thing that she needed to do, right? I could I could buy the beach. I thought I thought we were supposed to buy something. With, were we supposed to buy something with Sage? Let's check. No, wait. Someone was supposed to buy something. Maybe that's next generation. Oh, become a partner. Yeah, that's for whoever Clem's child is. Then they will have to become a partner of the Hidden Springs Day Spa. But yeah, here's what we have to do with Clem. So it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting for sure. I'm gonna buy her. Should we buy her a sea dew? Buy her. Oh, that's not. That is not a sea dew. That is not a sea dew. Is that too bright now? No, I think it's okay. How, let, you ready for a true jump scare? Are you ready for this? This is the game with reshade. This is it without. It's so much darker. So much darker. Why am I obsessed with the series? Because it's fun. It's fun doing all the challenges. All right, there's her. There's her little sea dew gonna get her we're gonna put all this in her inventory as well get her that look she has a boat now she does have a boat now so that's done i mean is a sea dew technically a boat probably not but it's boat adjacent so that's that's enough for me 
Well, that was a fun little birthday age up for Clem. Yeah, if you're not used to the reshade, it's definitely jarring. Like the world is so much brighter. I, I feel like I can't see anything. Like I go back to this, you know, when I when I um got a new PC, my game looked like this at first. And I'm like, how the hell did I see any? I feel like I, I'm like squinting. Like I can't see any detail of this like backyard area. It looks so dark. Cannot believe I played this way for like 10 years of my life. Crazy. Not a single baby this stream. Well, we do have a plant sim growing in here, so that's something. I have no idea how I played with that reshade. I feel like I can't see anything. It's even like that for The Sims 2. I mean, I think in The Sims 2, people always critique The Sims 2 with that. They're like, Sims 2 is really dark, which it, I feel like it is, but it's very pronounced in The Sims 2 as well. He wants to see Clementine be a criminal mastermind. Why do you wish that for your daughter? Why do you want your poor daughter to be a criminal mastermind? All she wants to do is sit over here and fish. Like, that's all she wants to do. She's just chilling. And his, your dad wants you to become a criminal mastermind. <laughs> that's so, that's so random. Clem and Philip. She's just so perfect. Someone said, who is it? Someone said that they had a friend that looks like Clem. Oh, there's a try for baby. Who did it? Who did it? Who was it? Who was it? Will. Was it Will? Oh, no, it was Lord. Lord. Will. Oh, my God. <clears throat> oh, Soup wanted to try for a baby with Clem and Philip, so I redeemed it. What the hell? You have 100k points. That's a lot. Well, I guess we have to get Philip over here. Where is he at? Did he go home? Oh, no, he's here. All right, I guess we can end off stream with doing a little woohoo moment. Um, I'm gonna have her cl uh, climb. See, you just need to use the composter because we need to get her show on the freaking road, you know? Her her stuff needs to get settled. I feel like I'm gonna have to play a little bit off camera because I just, I just, for the love of God, I just wanna, I just wanna be done with Sage. I, I think the gardening stuff is kind of fun, but I feel like I've overplayed the gardening. No, he's leaving. Guess we have to invite him back over. Get back over here, Philip. I don't want a baby for Clem right now. I really don't. Oh, someone was telling me about a birth control mod. Um, will I be playing the game? Will I be playing Inzoi more when the game re releases? Yeah, I don't see why not. Why is a plant sim on fire? It was the, it's the flame fruit. There's like flame fruit next to it. Oh, something died. Flame fruit bush died. Flame fruit. We have to plant more. I just, I just don't. Want, I think, I think I need to install those Dragon Valley things you guys were telling me about too. See Clem be a scientist. That's so cute, actually. Your mom wants you to be a scientist. Okay, come in here. We're gonna invite him inside. Clem's children deserve better than her generation. Yo. <laughs> what lifetime rewards does Sage have? Slash, can she afford the plant-related one? She already has the plant-related one. The super green thumb. All right. Well, I guess we have to do a try for baby to end off the stream. We have to do the try for baby, the one that Lord redeemed. All right, here we go. If she does get pregnant, I wonder if it'll get Philip's like red dyed hair. <laughs> here we go. There it is. I hope it doesn't come true, but I guess we'll see. To be determined. All right, guys, I'm gonna end stream there for the evening. I hope you all did enjoy was super fun i'm excited to see clem's preg but i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it up for a mystery it's gonna be a mystery till till next time all right good night guys have a good week bye